Good morning everyone and um, welcome back to another Trenton World 2 live stream. Very happy to be bringing you and showing you live Spirit of Steam. It has been absolutely ages since we've known about this DLC. Um, but obviously, well, it's been, yeah, I think February last year it was. Um, but no, we're, we're finally on it. We're on the PC version. I was going to be on the PlayStation version this morning. Uh, but there's a few issues with redeeming the PlayStation code at the moment, something to do with Sony and the DLC unlocking, something like that. Um, so hopefully we should be on the PS5 later. But I don't want to wait any longer, so we're just going to play the PC version, which works fine anyway. So that's all good. Although th I must admit this is the uh, pre-release build still. Um, so yeah, although I don't think there has been an update yet. So, But anyway... Uh, let's see who we have got in. We have got Jude, we've got Jack, we've got Sif, we've got Ashton, we've got uh, Kieran, I think that is. We've got John, we've got Swampy, we've got another Kieran, and we've got Sebastian, we've got GTA Explorer, and we've got I, we've got Cody, we've got Mason, um, we've got Sif. Uh, how's everyone doing? Hopefully everyone's all well. Um, so yeah, Spirit of Steam, as you can see, I don't have a lot on the, uh, <laughs> I don't download a lot on this one. Hello, Finn. Uh, can we see Scenario Planner? Uh, not just yet, but I'm sure we can slightly later on. So yeah, Spirit of Steam, here we go. So yeah, uh, I've done the training on here already. Uh, I've already driven a fair distance as well. Uh, you get 135 services. I think it is cut down by a few services on the um, uh, on the old last gen. Um, so it'll be cut down only by a few. But anyway, we're going to go in the Jubilee, and I think we're going to do an express service, because why not? An express run from uh, Crew to Lime Street. Do not, do not start, do not, do, st don't do it. Do not start your first ever journey on Spirit of Steam at Liverpool Lime Street going to Crew. Don't, don't, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. I did that, and um, yeah, just uh, don't do it. <laughs> Uh, right, let's see. Um, where's the next press run? London, Euston, we're looking for. Uh, London, Euston to Liverpool. Uh, there's that one there. Done that one before. London, Euston to... I suppose we could do the same one. Um, Fleetwood. Uh, what one should we do? Oh, there you go. Is that, uh, that's, uh, that's the press one there. Let's do that one there. The 14... Uh, 14, 15. Let's do the one we've done before. Um... That one. There you go. You're doing the 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 what? Is it out now? Yeah, it's out now on consoles. And it should be out on PC slightly later. No, Preston isn't in it. Preston's not in it. It is Liverpool Lime Street to Crew via Runcorn. In we go. So Drivers Express service from Crew to Liverpool Lime Street. Right, let's get this ready. So yeah, we're on the PC, so probably for me doesn't look as good as the PS5. Oh, well, that still looks pretty nice. I mean, look at that. Does look good. How's it looking? Hopefully, it's looking all good. Um, right, let's get the doors open. Let's do that. We've got about three minutes until we're all due to leave. Let's set that to forward 75. You can buy it now on consoles. Awesome car guy, although not just yet on PC. Uh, that's already all good. Just going to wait and get that open as well, which is already open. Pretty much all ready at the moment. Put the uh, lamps on. I think the lamps are already on the right setting. We wait. Hello, Amanda. Yeah, not on PC, Harvey. It'll be on the console. Yeah, this is the route map. This is crew here. You've got Runcorn, which is around here. There's Runcorn there. Uh, and then you've got, well, Lime Street over there. And then Edge Hill, which is here. So yeah, the main two fierce grades in, in on the route are between here and here. That's like a 1 in 92. And then also from Runcorn uh, here to about there. That's like a 1 in 100. But we're going the slightly easier way. We're going to Liverpool. So we have to we get to go down the hill, not up the hill. Although we'll do both, so. Anyone? Isle of Wight scenario. Oh, I'll watch the set in the 50s. Oh, cool. Yeah, but just waiting. Uh, there, tell me, what would you want to see? What would you like to see? Let's have a little look at the coaches, actually. And tell me about audio as well. 
Let me out, come on. Out we go, there. So yeah, these are the updated Mark 1s. This is obviously the guard area. And you get your own little cage in here. Oh. There you go, look at this. Little cage. That's where you lock the prisoners away. No, that's... <laughs> This way you put the luggage. Um, and you've got the little area in here. Where you can, you know, sit and chill out. Mess around with a few bits in here as well. Turn on the lights. Uh, there you go. Look at that. That's quite cool. Oh, they've added that as well. Look at that. Brilliant. I like that. Okay, so yeah, these are the uh, the new Mark 1s. Well, really, the old Mark 1s. But the old upgraded Mark 1s. Which is quite cool. And the uh, maroon livery. Looks like we've got none in the blood and custard. Looks like this one is all maroon. The <laughs> farmer just hit you with its shovel. Oh dear. Let's get that shot. Uh, let's start getting the brakes off, which take a little while to release. Uh, I'm going to set that to fully open as well. There you go. Yeah, hopefully, audio is all good. How's it looking as well? Hello Elliot, found it, awesome, hello Adam as well, how are you, hello French Doke, how are you? Get the doors shut. Uh, yeah, we are running fast to Lime Street. Yeah, this is in the 50s, this is 1958. Let's wait for that to get to 21. There we go, right. Set that to closed. And I think we're all good to go. Oh, no, I don't want to be down there. Let's go. Start at about 30% on the regulator. Look at that. Brilliant. Let's get the cylinder cocks closed. Yeah, heading out of crew. I'm going to bring that, start bringing that down gradually, so we'll do about 60%. Fair enough, French. So you need to bring down the reverser. It's only 20 out of here, so I don't need to do too much on it. What speed should you enter a station at? Really up to you. I mean, I'd say on a steam train, probably 25. Can hear the uh, fireman doing his thing. There he is, putting the uh, coal in. Just keep it like this for now. There's, uh, well, it's only 20. Well, it goes up to 90 in a second. Cool, yeah, coming out of crew. Look at that. But yeah, we'll be up to 90 miles an hour on this run. Which is pretty uh, insane. 90 miles an hour in the steamer. Look at that. And there we go, we can now get up to. Uh, I'll pop that down to about 40. Open the regulator up. This is getting hit, maybe, yeah. This is automatic. I mean, it's realistic, isn't it? So. Probably Aunt Amanda, yeah. Bring that down to 35. And I'll pop it down to 25 in a second. 25, you can then just leave it. Littlehampton is nice, yes. Yeah, you're playing it right now, it is so lovely, it is lovely. Look at that, brilliant. You can see the farm and doing his thing, it's getting more cold. So look at that, putting it in there. The fireball so it's pretty cool as well. And bring that down to 25. Because 25 is sort of the optimal position. And now we wait. Hey, Pudgy, it's going well, going well. Yeah, we've been doing quite well a bit. Oh, what what jubilee do we have? We've got uh, we've got Vindictive today. I think there's like, isn't there like 130 different names. Yeah, we got Vindictive. Which the names are after places in the British Empire, or formerly in the British Empire. Um, and, well, I don't know what the other ones are, just sort of names. Yeah. Just like Vindictive, Rodney, stuff like that. Up we go, though. 
Obviously this is the steam train, so it won't go up to 90 miles an hour straight away. It does take a little while. Alright, yeah, Kieran. You're confused because Matt said you can't fire, but in tutorials you can. Um, well, I don't think you can fire. Well, what you can do is you can open up the thing for the farm and then pop it in. So you don't actually get the shovel yourself and put it in. Hey, Jamie, how are you doing? Welcome in. I'm sure it's just been a very, very much a day you've been looking forward to. <laughs> Driven 100 miles, there we go. Yeah, can we get some hellos in the chat for Dovetail Jamie? So yeah, we're running fast to uh, to Liverpool, and then what we'll do is we'll do... Oh, we've got another trophy as well. Lo I love Mitenda. I guess that's where we drive 100 miles. Uh, so yeah, and then we'll drive to Liverpool, and then we'll do Liverpool-Lime Street to Crewe, which is much harder. Do not do that on your first run, uh, because, uh, yeah, <laughs> very steep gradients. So I'd recommend doing crew to Liverpool first. Then it's sort of the way into the city. Awesome, Jamie. Don't overshoot Megasim went 90 miles an hour and spadded. What through it? How far is it between Mosley and Liverpool? Uh, that's a good question. Four or five miles? Probably not even that. Mosley, that's... So I'm still getting, I know you've got Winsford, Hartford and Acton Bridge on here on the West Coast Main Line, but I think Mosley's up here, isn't it? Is that one of these? Hey, Power, the game comes out in six hours. I can't wait because I pre-purchased it. Awesome. You're at 86, very proud. Awesome. I mean, at this point, we just leave it and let it do its thing. We're still going up at a nice pace. And sort of within the next sort of three, four miles, we should be going about 90. Hello, all the trains. No, 3.4, that's not too bad then. But yeah, we are on the PC at the moment. Uh, although later on we will be on the PS5. So for me, it probably would look better. As my PC's okay. But not like, you know, super, super. Still looks alright though. Sounds good, French dough. Absolutely loving the awesome donuts. You need some help. My train is moving. I can't seem to see much steam coming out the loco. But if you can't see steam coming out the loco, that's probably not a good thing. I suppose you need to make sure you haven't run out of boiler pressure. Look at that. 62. I love the way how much it bobs around. Look at that. The tender at the back. So the tender is separate, isn't it? Sort of got the little gap in the middle. Love how you see it bobbing about. Yeah, it's been great, Jamie. It's been really, really good. And I think I've got the hang of it as well. Like I've managed to be. I took your advice on the wrong corn gradient, and I managed to get up to about sort of 20 miles an hour or so, and then eventually up to 25, 30. So yeah, I'll get better. You have got it now, awesome chat. Yeah, if you have got any questions, uh, do pop them in the chat. So Jamie is here as well, so I'm sure he to answer a few questions about operating trains and all. How do you check the border pressure? I believe it's this one here. So at the moment, we're sort of in the optimal, um, you know, setting. And I think this one is the steam chest pressure. Uh, and then this one here is the... I think that's the blower, that one. And that one's the damper. Yeah, one, one of the two. Yeah, I think that's the... Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the damper there. That one's the blower, I think. And then this one here is the cylinder cox. Are you on PS today? Uh, we will be later. Yeah, we will be later. There's just a few issues with the PS codes. Um, we will be on it later. Hello Mr. Adams, any reason why I've got 89 services in the Xbox Series X? Uh, uh, Craig. That's brilliant French though. They are nice boots and they're all different aren't they? I can't remember how many, how many signal boxes are on this route, but I know it was a lot. 52 rings a bell? So they're all different in their own way. 
playing that mod you know, aren't they? You're still steam train this morning, also. But yeah, this is sort of the easy part of the route. Uh, I mean, it's fairly straightforward, fairly flat, we're not stopping anywhere. Um, and it's also fast. I mean, 78, almost 80 miles an hour. It's tough here and it's tough. Yeah, hopefully it's running all fine and it's handling all good. Now, cool, there's a patch of people from Xbox getting sorted, so those missing the steam should be solving in that patch. Also. Hey, Glenn, how are you? Steam train steam. How you doing there, Glenn? There you go, we've got our uh, farmer doing his. Uh, what are we calling the farmer? What's his name? He's got you know, perhaps some personality. What, what's his name? He doesn't look very happy, does he? <laughs> look at him. He's really scared. I mean, fair enough, I'm driving. He does look quite scared. That's uh, Winsford, I think we've just gone through. Yeah, the farmer does look quite scared. I mean, look at him. He's sort of like, oh, God. What am I doing? Why am I here? You get that open as well. And also, this you can get this one as well. Hello, Tom. I said Bob earlier. So they putting these 10 coaches out of uh, Liverpool, I'm sure, soon. We just got to have another name. Bob was the one earlier. Farm and Sam. There we go. There you go, there's Farm and Sam. He's putting all of the stuff in. There we go. I'm guessing in the future we'll see the cold on there. Then it goes into the... Uh, into there, nice. 85 miles an hour. Hey, it is brilliant, don't I know. One of the biggest releases, probably since Rush Hour. But I know that wasn't actually that long ago. But it's great. <laughs> probably Jamie, yeah. He's going to hit him if you keep opening the doors when he's right in front. And in front, you've pre ordered it, awesome. Yeah, you can pre-order it on Steam, uh, it should unlock on Steam in about 6 hours time. So yeah, 24 .99. it's out on the consoles now as well. And Epic Games, I think it's about 2pm-ish. Look at this, 88 miles an hour. Uh, so once you get it into 125, you just let it do its thing. I mean, the farmer does the rest. Also, you can turn that off though, you can um, do it more manual. So you still have the farm in there, but when you open the doors, that's when you have the cold in. So you have to have the dampers and stuff like that, and the blower. Hello, JH, I'm all good, how are you? Look at this. Let's get another flyby shot. We are storming along, and we're running at about 40 FPS. Which, I mean, this route is really, really well optimised. Really well. Look at that. Uh, we'll slip in. It does look like it. That's probably because we're going so quick. Uh, I don't know. Something like that. Just download your PS5 console version. Awesome. Why is it so late for Steam? Because Valve have to I think, get up manually and do it. Obviously, they're in the US, aren't they? So it's obviously back to the time. Hey, then, JH. It's just sort of the way it does it, yeah, it's just supposed to do that. Uh, this is Hartford, I think. This is Hartford or Acton Bridge. This is Hartford. Lovely. Now once we get to uh, sort of the run for grade, we can just coast most of the way down. You don't need to put as much throttle on then, or regulator. Two miles to Acton Bridge. Yeah, to leave me, yeah, it's two miles still. Can we get Amanda to drive the steam train? I'm sure we can at some point. Uh, I've done a couple of freight services, not on stream though, so yeah, we will do that. Probably like for a few hours, and I'll uh, try and get it downloaded on the PS in a little bit, and then we can switch over to there and see how it's like on there as well. <laughs> kind of funny how this is faster than a 465. Loving the DLC, awesome ducking to it. Fucking awesome, man, it's uh, No, on the Lime Street uh, train simulator, I actually did a really good tutorial. Um, getting up the Lime Street grade. 
whistle or not? Can you do the whistle? I sure can. There you go. And also you've got the Southern Dale view, which was one of sort of Matt's personal things to put in. Look at that. It's actually a really nice view, sort of a nice uh, overlook of the footplate and just, well, the general scenery. Love it, let's get back in. You can go in that view as well. I like going in this one though. What does the blower do? Good question. Uh, the blower, I believe, when the firebox doors are shut, will keep the fire away from getting through the firebox, I think. Or through the doors. I'm still learning myself. It's brilliant. So yeah, we'll do this one. Uh, we'll go to Lime Street. And then we'll do Lime Street to Crew again. And then we'll go in the 8F and do something on there. Maybe do the yeah, crew back to somewhere. Yeah, the train is shaking an awful lot. It's a steam train. I don't think you would get any sort of suspension, would you? So, yeah, it's quite bobbly. It's cool, though. Right, we've got a, a 60 coming up, so let's start getting that on. So they are vacuum brakes, so they are pretty cheese. And then they just defy it. And I think it even comes down to 50. I'm pretty certain it comes down to 50. Because I got caught out here. About the regulator open, can make the fire come through the doors. There we go. So that's what the blower does. Keep, keeps it at bay. I like lines, alright. Hello Sid, looking forward to this amazing DLC, awesome. Wow, it's boring. Bring that down. Hello Tim, updating this route already, awesome. Also manages the air flow of fire. Awesome. Yeah, it's 50 along here. So yeah, we're coming up on Weaver Junction, or well, fairly soon we're coming up on Weaver Junction, uh, which was the first flyover junction in the world. Keep it at that for now. Um, a little bit of that, go on. There we go, speed the process up. There you go, you're putting some more bits in. Go on then. There you go, and into the firebox. Lovely. There is a local at, uh, a local at Liverpool called Impregnable also. Fair enough, it's, it's a yes and no. <laughs> Fair enough, quick okay. I mean, yeah, steam trains are fairly hard at first, but once you've done it a couple of tries, you know, it's, it's yes and no to it being hard. Although that is probably more challenging than other things we've got in the game. See, so, yeah, all the train sets coming in, local stations, you're going to have some trains coming in, awesome. Enjoy. Another train there. Go. That goes back there. But yeah, we're a pretty long train. One of the longest trains you can get on the route. I think it's 10 coaches and we weigh about 450 tonnes. Here's Weaver Junction. So you can see the fly over there, which obviously means the train doesn't have to cross all of these tracks to then get over to the other side. So it makes things much smoother. Uh, it's automatic, ladies and jet. Automatic. Brilliant quick well, These, uh, I think the Jubilee sounds were done by Boss Man Games on a rail tour, and then the AF was done by Dovetail at the Great Central Railway, which was actually a video on the Train Sim channel when Jamie and the team went out to um, well, record the sounds. Is it your first full journey? Awesome, Kieran. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, it goes, it goes fast. It does go quite fast. Especially along the West Coast Main Line bit. Are there any short coaches? Uh, but there's not any shorter than the Mark 1. Um, but you can get shorter trains. I think the stoppers are about 4 or 5 coaches. Oh, awesome, ladies and gentlemen. You don't, uh, don't seem to be able to release my brakes. Um, make sure the steam brake is also off and also make sure you're at 21 on the vacuum is it out yes it is out yes yeah cheers for coming in jamie cheers for coming in 
and yes, Jamie did say any questions, issues, things, bugs you find, Dovetail Games forums. That's the best place for it. But yeah, cheers for coming and joining me. Have a lovely rest of your day. Fairly steep up, we've got a 1 in 101 up here. So fairly steep, but we're going at 40 odd miles an hour, so that's alright. Probably should have been slightly more gentle on the brakes coming up to Weaver Junction. Then we probably could have been going about 50, 60, well, probably 50 at most, slightly uh, faster. This is really the only grade, the only tough grade when you're going between. Um, in Liverpool. The rest is fairly simple if you're going that way. So do a, do a freight service. Yeah, do a freight service. We'll do that. We'll, we'll do another service back to crew after this, then we'll do a freight service. And yeah, you've got a mix of semaphore and colour lights on this route. Awesome bus spotter. It is very cool, Sam, yes. So I think this is where we start going down in a second. Oh, and also, animated cows. This is live, Ron. Hello. <laughs> you hear them make moo sounds. Oh, make a moo. Go on, make a moo. That's the train. They, they do moo. <laughs> there we go. You can hear them mooing. How you doing, Ron? Yeah, I've been on a steam train many times. You figure that more, not on the footplate in the coaches though. Actually no, I have, so, I mean not when it's going, but I have been on the footplate at the Bluebell. Because uh, they've got, um, well the engine shed there, you can go in and stand on the trains and stuff like that. So I've done that. Yeah, how you doing Ron? I'm guessing you're very much looking forward to this DLC. It's very good. You can start to see where the grade starts to go down, just there, and it's all the way down to Brancourt. Window open. Oh, so why's that laser jet? We are picking up speed. Just love how much it wobbles around. I mean, look at that. There's Sam there, he's uh, having a look. He's, he's greets to the mainline station, uh, but it's on the network. The southern uh, network, that's, well, I suppose, yeah, but it's not like a busy, busy station. It's a terminus. Cool. Awesome run. That's been great. So, yeah, this is where it starts going downhill very steep. So, if you're coming up this, especially if you've just stopped at Run Corn, good luck. Yes, can we try and get to 50 lights? Fair enough power, you'll be the farmer. So, so once we get that to run corner, it starts getting very industrial. Obviously this is the day when Britain, you know, had a pretty huge empire. It was the industrial hub of the world. Well, slowly starting to die off, but uh, yeah. Hello Decker, yeah I'm all good, hopefully you're all well. This was sort of the end of the glory days. So it's very, very industrial once you come into Liverpool. The amount of chimneys you'll see with smoke coming out, wow. All speed is best to put the reverse at 25. I do about 25, 30. Just let it go. Yes, look at this. Oh, 55 coming up, don't look at that. Do not look at that. Uh oh. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, that always catches me out. We're going to New York tomorrow, we'll enjoy. Sure, we should be alright, we are coming down. We'll be a little bit over, but that's fine. Just remember, these things didn't have speedometers, so... If you are a little bit over, you can't really blame yourself. I mean, there's no speedometer. Actually, that's not too bad. This is Runcorn. And then we go over the Runcorn Bridge. Oh, I see, you said, yeah, they're doing real life. Yeah, I'm all good, Deco. Hopefully, you're all right. Hello, Gamecast. How are you as well? Yeah, this is 
the industrial, I mean look at the amount of chimneys starting to appear. And yeah, this is the Runcorn Bridge. Look at that. And we sort of cross over into uh, the Liverpool side of things. With the help of TSW2, we can now steal a Jubilee and eat it. Oh yeah. Fairly steep down here. Yeah, as you can see, lots of. Uh, I mean, even the water looks quite horrid as well. They're yeah, very industrial. Obviously, nowadays, none of this is probably here. Well, probably very minimal. Hello, Gordon, how are you? Take the train. The only thing missing is the smuts in your hair from the journey and your pillowcase in the morning showing the smut. Lovely. Hey, laser jet, how are you? Can we get some hellos in the chat for laser jet shirt? Who I'm sure you all know. So can we get some hellos? How are you doing, laser jet, mate? How are you getting on with um, the steamers? He's teaching us how to steal trains. Uh, I guess. Fair enough, Kieran. Oh, it's still dirty. What does the sleeper factory look like? Uh, I haven't. Where's that? Is that a spec? Where's the sleeper factory on here? I haven't done too much freight, so. And then we come up on, I think this is Ditton Junction. Look at that, though. Yeah, so if you're going up between Liverpool and Crewe, you've got to go all the way up there, then past Runcorn, all the way up there. It's a very tedious and long grade. It's brilliant, isn't it? That shit. It is great. This time still train. Doing a rail tour of them right now on a modern route. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, I missed the um, Crompton on the BML one. I have to watch that back. I should go up to 70, there we go. Let's get that open. This is hard. Um, yeah, to begin with, it's fairly sort of hard. I suppose I've had a bit of practice of playing TS. Um, yeah, to begin with, it is fairly hard. But over, you know, the first sort of few runs, you'll get the hang of it. The brakes are probably the hardest thing to get used to. Hello, Nigel. It is brilliant. Yeah. Morning Roman, um, day off today, managed to get you live, awesome, can't wait to give it a go, brilliant. 5.4 miles to Mosley. Let's get a flyby shot, there's quite a few abandoned stations along this bit, uh, I think this is, is this one of them? Oh no, this one's still open, there's a few. Awesome, Nigel. So not long then until it uh, unlocks. It's, yeah, six o'clock, isn't it? There we go. But yeah, a bit like Northern Trans Pennine, it does have a mix of colour and semaphore signals. Uh, although the ones on here actually work correctly with semaphore signals, as Matt was saying, the ones on Northern Trans Pennine don't really work as intended. So you get a mix on here, so, you know, be careful. <laughs> Hello again, what do I think of it? It's brilliant. I mean, Steam in TSW, it's like one of the biggest launches in a long, long time. And it's finally here. We've, we've got Steam in TSW. It's great. We've got 97 people, so thanks to all four coming in this morning for a bit of uh, Steam action. We'll be getting the route later. For now, I'm enjoying watching passengers fall out of coast towards the cancel train. That would be decker. 60 odd miles an hour, so 1 in 187, just keeping it as it is at the moment. I think the next speed change is at Edge Hill where it comes down to 20. What was my first steam train I ever drove on TS 
probably the Isle of Wight Steam Railway, so the Invincible, I think it's called. It's a very, very small pannier tank, I think that one is. Awesome Oscar, and look at that. Sort of see we're sort of out on the outskirts of Liverpool now. You can see all the houses starting to show up. I suppose realistically, this probably whole area now is just full of houses. Also, I'm sure someone can confirm that. I'm pretty certain, yeah, probably all of this is now just houses. So this is the 1950s, so 60s, you know, that's sort of when the houses, you know, probably went everywhere. You're out until Thursday, so we'll have to wait a little longer. Fair enough, Nigel. Hello, Pig and Bob. Well, only a couple of days. Here's one of the abandoned stations. Let's get a flyby shot. Let's get another one. Let's just go ahead. Oh, watch out. There you go. Ahead we go. Three miles to Mosley. As we're going through it, let's go ahead. Look at that. Loving it, Oscar. Every time I play it, it's like playing it for the first time. It's great. There we go. Cool. So I think this is Spec coming up. Spec, I think it is. Spec, Speed, I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, I'm, from, I'm a southerner, so I don't know. I guess it probably is Spec. Yeah, quite a lot of um, stuff loading in here, so there might be a slight FPS drop. We've got a lot of wagons and stuff loading. Yeah, whizzing past there. Oh, we're actually speeding as well. Fun. Let's pop back down. Spat it. Uh, uh, I only fly past on the Pendolino. Look at that, though. And we sort of start turning in and towards Edge Hill. Fair enough, uh, much. Yeah, I saw that updated. I probably won't give it a go today, though. Awesome, Gordon. It's a 1 in 305, which ain't too bad. I think this is West Allerton, I want to say. West Allerton. Oh, it's Allerton. So West Allerton next to him. Yeah, I think it's Allerton, West Allerton, and then mostly, I think. Or was there one in between? I think it's one in between. Awesome pick and pop. Awesome theory. Yeah, sort of heading into Liverpool now, so it's quite um, quite urban now, isn't it? Quite built up as uh, we make our way through. I mean, probably even more built up now. That's a very good question. I haven't tried it. I wonder what this route looks like at night. I wonder if it's like completely pitch black. Or I don't know, I don't know if this route has the night lighting on it. I don't think it does. Yeah, doing it at night would be quite a challenge. Um, you have to plug in a keyboard. I'm actually on PC at the moment, but you can do it on key uh, on console. Plug in a keyboard, press eight and shift, and you can um, go flying ahead of the train. We've got a 40 coming up. That will be coming to uh, round into Edge Hill. I'm just gonna coast it for now. It's not really any point speeding up. Now you got an old running track there. Lovely. I'm guessing the CEO of Dovetail is probably very happy. Uh, Paul Jackson. I, th I think Paul actually did want to see a crew in the 1950s. And what have we got? A crew in the 1950s. Yes, it is out. That field is out. Best written TSW say. Awesome. This is Mosley Hill. Awesome uh, pet. Let's do that. So yeah, not too far to Edge Hill. Two miles. And at Edge Hill, we sort of then start curling into Lime Street. And it's quite a steep downhill gradient. Although after this, we're going to go up it. I'll show you how you tackle the grade. You are driving Keith. Lovely, Kieran. Also, Glenn's favourite. I was driving Rodney um, last time. Yes, eight, 8 to get in free cam and shift and arrow keys to speed up. Can you put it on the LGV route? Would it make it? I mean, a 1 in 29 gradient. I mean, I suppose if you had a bit of a run up, 
probably. But I mean, the class 37 couldn't even make it, so I don't know. That would be uh, a challenge and a half. What's this one we're going through? No clue. But yeah, coming into uh, the sort of centre of Liverpool soon. Still got some cows there. Still sort of very green, isn't it? Even though we are sort of near enough in the uh, in the middle of the city, it still is very green. Although I suppose probably now this is this is all houses. But this is obviously the fifth. Uh, this is the fifties. Does a sort of start of the uh, boom. So the boomers. Obviously, everyone after the war, everyone's like, "Oh, let's have kids," and then. Yeah, tons and tons of houses needed. Look at that. Maximum uh, stream. Loving this awesome dam. Another abandoned station there. I don't know, some of these are all abandoned. They look all sort of dirty as well. Right down to 20. Two, two. Oh yes. Now I believe we actually get a caution on the signal, although it's usually just green anyway. Yeah, you can see we've got a uh, a caution here. So I usually bring it down, then it's like, oh, you're all good. It was Kieran, yes. Fair enough. Down we go. Yeah, we've got to be careful. I'm going to put the reverse up to, uh, uh, we'll do about 50. Let's take it nice and slow. This is Ed Shield we're coming round. There's the back of the train. It is brilliant, ladies and gentlemen. It is very, very good. Yeah, it would be good. Uh, I'm supposed to quite a few people making scenarios on the West Somerset. So this is a dodgy, I don't like this signal round here, you sort of come round the corner, you can hardly see it. It looks all good, yeah, we've still got a caution though. So, I'm just going to take it slow, you can see that's a caution there. Well, I think the next one's green anyway. Yeah, the next one's green. Well, it comes down to 20 anyway, so. Lovely. But yeah, plenty of steamers uh, to watch today. Um, yeah, lots and lots of action. Obviously, not just my channel. I know Later Jet's doing stuff. Tintin, Mega Sim, uh, all the ambassadors were doing lots of uh, steam content today. So yeah, plenty to see. Yeah, it's good, Kieran. Yeah, this is Edge Hill, so we're going through here. Most of the semi-fast services you'll stop here. So we're going to be coming across here. Oh, it's got to be up there again, but it's great. Fair enough, Dino Dan. You can see the safety valve on at the moment as we are at almost maximum boiler pressure. Or sort of in the warning zone. But yeah, this is uh, Edge Shield we're going through, and it's sort of the final. Uh, run down into Lime Street, which you can actually already see down there. It's very steep. Yeah, this is 1958, this route. On service mode, does it say 58? No, it says 2022, but it's, it's set in 58. Speed up just a little bit. Not a lot of points speeding up, but get a little bit. We're going to do a semi-fast run from Crow. Awesome. That'll be tough trying to come down into Runcorn down that gradient. I wish you the best of luck. But yeah, after this you're doing an 8F. Awesome. Yeah, after this we'll do a run from Lime Street to Crow. Uh, semi-fast service which stops at Edge Hill, Runcorn and then Hartford and Crow. We'll do that next. Right, I'm going to get the uh, cab light on. Or the, the lamp. Let's get that on. As we come down into Lime Street. And to be careful as well, a little bit of brake. The brakes aren't too bad really. They're, they're not bad bad. At a lower speed they're much 
much easier to use. Sort of do a little bit of it, bring it off, bring it down a little bit. Yeah, vacuum brakes are uh, aren't the best. That's why you don't really get many vacuum brake trains now. I don't think you get any nowadays. Um, that'll be cool, uh, Dino. They're yeah, coming down to 15 miles an hour, and we're doing platform 8 out of Lime Street. You can see the safety valves on again. As we are at uh, the sort of danger zone of boiler pressure. So that's to about 60 on the reverser. There you go. Awesome. Uh, you just randomly derailed. Oh, is that in the AF? Yeah, that's a, that's a bug at the moment. I think it's with these. I don't know what wagons it's with, but there's a certain wagon or certain uh, thing, and yeah, it doesn't like it. I think there is a way around it, but that would be sorted anyway. Modern track. Well, these trains were built in the 30s. Yeah, these were in the 30s. I suppose at this sort of time, you start seeing diesel stuff, or well, near enough. Sort of the transition over. I think in one of the blurbs for this route, did sort of say it was one of the last ones to sort of have steam or something like that. All electrified, is it? I think Pendolino's come up to it, didn't they? You have a clan line t shirt, awesome. Yeah, this is Lime Street. You can see all of the old advertisement boards there. Yeah, I think that is an issue, Oscar. Um, I, I believe. I think there is actually a way around it. I know Paul, train simulator driver, found a way around it. I can't remember what he did though. Yeah, you got all of the old ads for, you know, biscuits and stuff like that. And I think you've even got the Dovewick News. Yeah, Dovewick News or something like that. Oh, I see what we're. Well, I've heard there is an issue at the moment where you get 90, was it 80, 89 services? So uh, uh, maybe that will be sorted with the um, patch Whitworth. Diesel mad? It's like, what, well, run diesel trains on here? I'm sure we could at some point. So, yeah, this is where things get intense. Let's go into that, uh, that view there. So we can see slightly easier the front of the train. As we come up to the buffers, yeah, we've got to be careful. It is relaxing, yeah. yeah it is very relaxing. That's a little bit of whack there. Well, yeah, I don't want to hit the buffers, especially live, with almost a hundred people in. That wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be the best of things. We are what. Oh, that's like three minutes so that's alright. It's steam. There you go, 101 people. And thanks for coming in. Hello, Jody, how are you? Right, nice and careful. This is where things go. This is where it ends in tears. Obviously, I don't want to stop too early. Because then it will just look a bit dodgy. <laughs> you don't want to stop too, uh, too late. Yeah, I don't want my plan is not to hit the buffer. That's a little bit of a boost there. I'm ready to slam the brakes on. And we're still going downhill as well, so you've got a little bit of a blind spot as well. That should be okay. Welcome to Liverpool Lime Street, everyone. Here we are. Yeah, this is... Oh, this is quite cool. These are like the... Um, I suppose these probably will be working in the future. That's quite cool, though. Delay, delay, cancel, cancels on time, on time. But I'm guessing these probably will work in the future. That'd be cool. Brilliant. Well, yeah, this is, this is Lime Street. We made it. And we're all right. We, we didn't... Nothing bad happened. Um... That's all good. Um, yeah, something tells me I need to do this. Uh, no, I'll keep it like that. 
But yeah, we made it. Oh, I'm straight. I've still got the safety valve on. The Ace Express, yes. Put duct tape over it. Yeah, that'd be alright. So yeah, what we'll do now is we'll do a service from Lime Street to Crew, which is very, very much more challenging. Look at that, so that's brilliant. Let's get the door shut. You got all the crates of lemons, oranges on the platform as well. Right, let's uh, let's go back out and we'll do uh, yeah, Lime Street to Crew. So explore timetable. Jubilee, we'll just do May because that's sort of you know nice weather. And we shall do Liverpool Lime Street to Euston. I've done the service a couple of times. It's a nice one. Hey, thanks for subscribing, Zach. Yeah, we've got plenty in the playlist. So we've got the West Coast Mainline section, the ATF, plenty in the playlist to uh, to dive into. Right, here we are. Uh, so first off, we need to uncouple the uh, loco at the back. That's just, there's no sort of um, turn back bit here, so we thought we can sort of come across. So we've got to do this. A bit like on Diesel Legends, I guess, at Paddington. There you go, we've got to get rid of that. Uh, unlock the doors. Yeah, very close to 7k. Very close. I'm going to get that on as well. Uh, we've got, hey, we've still got the same guy with us. Uh, we're going to set that to 75. Yeah, this is where. Yeah, this is where it gets tense. This is not so chilled coming out of here. Small ejectors are fully open. I'm also going to use the sander coming out of here as well. As yeah, straight out of here is a 1 in 92 gradient, which isn't just a little bit of a grade, it is very much a grade. Hey, Neil, how are you? I mean, look at that, you can actually fairly visibly see it as well. It goes straight up to Edge Hill, very steep. And obviously from, a, you know, stopping to going up there, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's tough. Really got to be on the ball. Awesome pet. Uh, let's get that open. We drew out of here at 7.33, which the signal won't go green until we've shut the doors. Oh no, maybe it already has gone green. <laughs> yeah, it's already gone green, so we could leave early. Let's start getting the uh, this this sorted. Sand, I'm going to start getting the sander on. We should start rolling back. Right, let's get the doors shut. Right, this is where things get intense. Here we go. I'll set it about 30. 30% 30 on the regulator to begin with. Hello, Davidoff. Have you had a subway? Many times. Not in a while, though. It's pretty pricey. It's scary. Yeah, we're going up there. One in 93 already. So sort of slowly bring up the regulator and slowly bring down the uh, reverser. You should make it. So you've got to be fairly careful here as you have got the 15 grade. Although you could ignore that. If you want to get as much as you can trying to get up here. Awesome, Neil. If I'm getting out and push. Yeah, if the worst comes... The one in 90. It's mad. Slowly bring down the reverser as you're going up. 15 miles an hour. You should be able to hit about 20 miles an hour if you do it correctly. Oh, man. Uh, put the steam train on the Brighton main line at some point. Yeah, slowly bringing down that reverser, so slowly rotating it to bring it down. Also, another dodgy thing about this one is once you get towards Runcorn, there's actually a train ahead of you, so you actually have to stop on the grade sometimes. Depends how sort of late you are. Right, I'm going to get the sander off. I think we should be all good. Yeah, we are climbing out of the grade. We're climbing out of Lime Street. And you can see it. Look at that going up. 
18 miles an hour. Yeah, it's pretty tough. I mean, I love the way the sun and the steam. Let's look at the shadows through the steam and the sun, sort of where the steam is. I love it. Oh, they sort of the dark bit and then the yeah, end to the light. It's it's really nice. 18 miles an hour. Tears of pure joy. It's it's great. It is it is great. I'm still gaining speed slowly. Our boiler pressure is still looking good. Seam chest pressure is all over the shop. We are getting up though. The regulators to the roof. It's so way up there. 19 miles an hour. Which yeah, if you do something wrong here, you will get stuck. So yeah, just remember, regulator up, reverser down. I'll try and get the reverser down to 25. Although don't go to 25 straight away as that won't work. Gradually. If you put too much regular, you get wool slip and then you, you'll get stuck. See, so yeah, if you do something wrong here, you'll get stuck. I think that's PC only game of one. That's wool slip, I believe. Now we come up into Edge Hill. Should arrive on time as well. 19 miles an hour. Yeah, battling the grade. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend starting with a Lime Street to crew service on your first go because, yeah, it's going to be tough. I wish you the best of luck, Commander. <laughs> there we go, though. And this is about 450 tons on behind us. There you go, it starts to flatten out a bit. And I'm slowly going to take off the regulator as well as we are coming up to uh, Edge Hill. Just a little bit. I'm going to put that back to 75-ish. Uh, and this is Edge Hill arriving on time. It'll be chaff, yes. Here we are. Yeah, who's got the DLC already or who's getting it later? Fair enough, uh, Oscar, you doing the same service, mate? Hey Ryan, how are you? Nice and slowly ran into Edge Hill. You sort of want to stop before the signal, really. So just nice and slow. Look how much it bobs around. Yeah, we are. That will do. This is Edge Hill. Look at that, and the whole train should be on the platform. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, awesome run. Hey, Jake, how are you? I mean, that is that is tough getting up that first. But why the doors not opened? Oh my God, that's fine. There we go. Right, now we wait. Wow. How's everyone finding the uh, Lime Street grade? And remember, Train Simulator have done a very good tutorial on their channel, so do, that, do go and check that out. So the next big grade is that Runcorn. Hello Mick, how are you? Cool, well we made it to uh, Edge Hill, first stop. The next one after this is Runcorn at 7.53. Not bad. Right, let's just start to get off the brakes. It's actually flat here it is as well, so that's alright. Start bringing them off. Looks and sounds fantastic. It is. There you go. You can put some more coal in. Go on then, Sam. In it goes. Come on. There we go. Uh, oh, oh, that probably would have hurt. There you go. Right, let's uh, get the door shut. How long is the route? 34, 35 miles? What does the map look like? There's the map. Liverpool, Edge Hill, and all the way down to crew down there. Right, I think that's all good. And same thing, about 30% on there. Oh, actually, it didn't like that. That's wheel slip. Actually, yeah, let me show you. That's wheel slip. Look at that. Obviously, you don't really want to be getting that. 
But what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some sand down. We might still be on a bit of a grade. There you go. After the chubby guys, I'm at work at the moment, but how much is it on Steam? 24.99, and I believe it's 34 miles. And it'll be out on Steam at 6 p.m., so. Start bringing the reverser down. 60%. Now bring it down even more as I bring up the regulator. Regulator's going up, reverser's coming down. There you go. Do the whistle. There you go. That would feel right. This is like Long Island Row back in the 60s. Awesome. Put that down even more. We actually have got a bit of a grade in a second, although only a short amount. Put the regulator to the roof. Uh, get the sander off. Should be okay then. Lovely. Uh, so did we? Okay, yeah, they're all good. You don't need to. You don't need to open the cylinder cocks at every station. Um, yeah, not every station. Do it, at chill. It's all right, anyway. It? It's not too bad. So yeah, only every now and again when you stop, you need to uh, open the cylinder cocks. Not all the time. What DLC do you need for this? Just spare a steam. One in 94 coming out of here, just as we climb back up to join up with the uh, line. So you might lose a little bit of speed coming up here. Round we go. What one have we got now? We have got... I think we've got Duncan. Yeah, we've had sort of both, sort of just names today. Yeah, we've got uh, Duncan. Hello Devin, you can see the lubricators doing their thing. They're slowly turning. Look at that. As we make our way up. But yeah, very happy to be showing this to you guys. Obviously, thanks all for coming in. It's been a long time coming, Spirit of Steam, but it's here. Definitely worth the wait. What's this one? Waver Tree Junction. So I'm guessing this is this used to be Waver Tree Station, I'm guessing. Lovely, it's only picking up speed as well, which is good. Got the farmer poking his head out the window, there he is. I love the animation of that. Uh, you don't think big express engines suit real names as much as Terriers do, fair enough, Gary. What train do I like the most? I mean, the AF and the Jubilee, in terms of operating them, they're like very, I mean, they're very, very similar. I mean, both sort of in the 30s they were built. So, the, the, you know, almost identical on sort of the inside bit. Um, probably the Jubilee, as I'm more of a passenger person. Although we'll do the um, AF after this. Just going to check to see uh, the penis codes. Yeah, thanks Five people went crazy, and it's 12. <laughs> Eight and a half miles to run, court. Well, yeah, we probably will catch up to another train, so we have got to be uh, careful. That's the first time I did this, which actually you can see in the Jube, in the Spirit of Steam line run. That was the first time we did this one. We were, we had to stop on the raid, which uh, <laughs> was interesting, to say the least. The big express engine super and how many locomotives are there? There's the AF and the Jubilee. Go faster, that's what I'm trying to do. Where we go? Look at that. That is something cool, that one. You can see that one. 
What's up? I'm mostly here that one. I'm right, just going to try the, um, the PS code again. And so we can do that. Multitasking. Uh, let me try to try and pop that in. So yeah, if we get if we can get it done on the PS, I'll then uh, flick over to there. Yeah, uh, no, the AFs aren't named or the Jubilees aren't named. I think it's like 130 names. Awesome Oscar. I'm guessing you are probably doing the same one. Actually, yeah, I'm just trying to put the uh, the code in for the PlayStation, and then uh, we can then flick over to there after this and see how it is on there. So it would be nice to see how both of them run. There you go, so I'm just downloading it now on the PlayStation. So we'll flick over to there uh, once we've done this service probably. And then we'll see how it is on there. Hopefully it won't crash when we do switch over. Four gigabytes, it's not bad. Put that down. Uh, let me put the that in. Yeah, see ya Ryan, enjoy your have a safe journey mate. Just coasting along at the moment. Boiler pressure is uh, fairly high again, which will be good sort of when we do hit the grade. Is there a service that stops at all stations? Uh, yeah, there are slow services. I don't think there's one which stops at all stations between Liverpool and Crewe. Uh, you get ones which come down from Preston to Acton Bridge to crew, and then you also get the ones from Lime Street to, I think, Preston, which uh, go as far as Ditton Junction, I think. Yes, yeah, so after this service, we'll switch over to the um, PlayStation 5 and see how it runs over there. And also, I hope the stream doesn't crash when we do flick it over. Awesome, Ryan. Lovely. Yeah, I see, Ryan. What route are you on today? Five miles to run form. We're due there at 53. So we've got about six minutes to go five miles. Although, bearing in mind there actually will be a train ahead of us. Where is the little bugger? The little bugger is. Uh, what is the train there? I've, I've done this one. Yeah, there's the train there. So sometimes you'd have to slow down for it. So if, maybe if you run a little bit late on this service, that might actually be better. So you can go up the grade at full speed. I'm going to get the light off now. Don't need that on. Awesome, uh, Oscar. Well, I suppose some bits do have to be cut down, I guess, but to run all right. Yeah, we've got 95 lovely P points, so thanks all for coming in for a bit of uh, Spirit of Sympathy. Massive thanks again to Dovetail Games for giving us the code to show it off. Hey, awesome, Sith. Oh, I see, right. Anyone else get stuck coming out of Lime Street? Uh, yes. Uh, well, I have myself, but it's quite a steep grade. Uh, I would re recommend going back about 10 minutes in this in this stream, and you'll see how we got up the grade. Yes, it is, it is tough. Cool. Just keeping it at 62 for now. Actually, yeah, I know that train is ahead, and I don't really want to catch up to it. As otherwise, we have to go slow up the grade to run corn. And it comes down to 55 anyway, so not really any point speeding up big time. Yes, yeah, one of the heaviest trains will be taking this one. It's about 450 tons. Look at that. 
Yes, we've got a double yellow here. I'm going to break down a little bit, not too much. Because that train's at run corner at the moment. That's what um, is bringing us down here, which is not a good place to start slowing down. Let's see, where is it? Uh, it is... It's there at the moment. Yeah, so bringing the speed down, we might have to come to a stop as I think we are catching up to it. You can see we've got the warning on the um, signal. Yeah, looks like we might have to come to a stop, which is a bit of a bugger. See you, Ryan. Thanks for coming in. I don't want to come down too much here. There's any second it goes straight up. You can see the gradient coming up. It goes straight up. It's pretty relentless. Just being careful. I want to keep as much boiler pressure as I can before we hit the grade. Right, let's have a green. So you can see where the colour lights have come up and the semaphores have come down. Open that up now. Gonna get the sander on as well. Right now we start climbing up the grade as so we're going a bit slower as well. Which ain't, ain't great. It is steep, yeah. Especially if you, if you have to slow down there for that train ahead. So try and get as much speed as we can because it goes up for quite a while. I'll be happy if we can get to 30. Up we go, though. So it's all the way up now. Let's go back in the southern Bellevue. Love it. That's just Matt's idea as well. Brilliant. So here we go, 1 in 1, 14. And this grade is about 2, 3 miles long. But if you separate run corn, then it's, you could have split it in half. see the uh, farm and putting all the coal in as you can see the uh, border pressure slowly coming down in fact it's actually going up at the moment which is all right can you blow up the train uh no i know you can on train simulator but it's, it, it doesn't happen on it i don't think i'd want to try it either do i have motion blur on that's a good point i don't know if i do on the pc i'm pretty certain i turn it off i think that's with it on and that's off. I don't know, there's really no difference. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm pretty certain I have it off. Or on the console, I like having it on for some reason. Up we go, though. Onto the Runcorn Bridge. Look at that. Yeah, if you have got any questions about the operation of Steam Locos, or if you're getting stuck, Pop them in the chat. I'm sure I can. Uh, I'll try my best to try and help you out. Yeah, if you're getting stuck or something like that. Yeah, do pop any uh, questions in the chat. We're going up and over the bridge. We've got a fairly nice amount of speed on us at the moment. There's the bridge over there, and Runcorn's just on the other side. Yeah, the Liverpool Lime Street with the Lime Street grades, the Lime Street to Edge Hill, that's one of the steepest grades. And also going from, from here all the way up to past Runcorn, another really fierce grade. And if you do something wrong, you, you're going to get stuck. Look at this as we make our way up. A pretty spectacular bridge. And we go over the bridge. So yeah, this is uh, Runcorn, this is. There's the River Mersey. Oh, 
farmer's back to work. His back must really be hurting. The men at work he's been doing. Over the Runcorn Bridge. Hey, awesome, uh, Ashley. Yeah, coming up to Runcorn. See the uh, vibe up continues round. A very spectacular bridge, this one. Probably one of the best looking in the game, actually. I mean, look at this gun over here. It is, uh, yeah, spectacular. Then we come into Runcorn. That's at that back to about 75. a little bit off roll should help there. Yeah, this is Runcorn. Lovely Oscar, good luck for going up the grade. Presently you get a red light at the end of the platform as well, I think. Do we get a red light at the end? Oh no we don't. That's all good. Very long platform. It's a little bit of puff to try and get us up. You see, it's on a one, one in 145 up here. And this is the station. Just got to be careful coming up here. A little bit of uh, break. And it should be a fairly nice stop, maybe a little bit more. There we go, this is Runcorn. Awesome, Oscar. Let's get the doors open. This after here, this is where it starts getting tough. As you can see, you can see it already going up. Look, it goes round and straight up. And that grade lasts for about over a mile or so, up to about there. So from there to there, that's all uphill, fairly steep. I'm going to keep the brakes on, as if you release the brakes here, you will roll backwards. Which we don't want happening. Lovely. Open the cylinder cocks. You don't need to do it at every station. We didn't do it at Edge Hill, so I'll do it now. Lovely. You can see the safety valve going. What a beautiful loco, though. But yeah, we're going the 8F after this, and when we do go in the 8F, that probably will be on the PlayStation, so we can see how it is on there. Right, let's get the door shut. Um, going to get the sander on. Uh, we're going to start releasing the brakes. Got to be very careful here. If you do something wrong, you get stuck. Ah, CK one. You got to be very careful. You can be a bit quicker here than at Lime Street, bringing the uh, reverser down. So if you don't have the 15 mile an hour limit, so. Right, are we ready to tackle the grade? Before it starts taking us back the other way. I think we are, let's go. Before it starts rolling back the other way. Right, here we go. It's a very tough gradient, this one. Start bringing back the reverse already. We'll try and get as much speed as we can. Down a bit more. Still bringing it down on the reverser. I'm going to open that up a little bit more. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably put that to the roof in a second. Regulate it's going to the roof. And then slowly bring down the reverser. 
You're probably at most going to get about 19, 20 miles an hour. It's not very quick up this bit. If you do it right, right though, you'll be alright. It is slow up here, so don't expect to be going up to 80 miles an hour. Probably one of the toughest gradients on TSW. In, in, well, in for the trains you get on here. It's not easy. Slowly bring back the reverser to 25. Nice and slowly. As you can see, almost at 20. 25, there we go. Right, now we just leave it pretty much. I've, I'll keep the sander on. So I'm going to get that off. Get it off now. Should be alright. Shouldn't get any wheel slip. You're doing the training. Awesome, Gordon. You're doing the 731 to crew. Nice. I think that was the same one as ours, actually. I think we were the 731. So perhaps K1, go back and just see how we got up the grade. As it's one of the heaviest trains you can do. Power, yes. It's not, it's not fast up here. It's a one in a hundred for quite a distance as well. Don't bet. Almost up, awesome. Very nice. We've got over a thousand views. So yeah, thanks all for coming in for a bit of um, spirit steam. After this one, we're going to flick over to the PlayStation 5. Uh, just to see how it runs on there. Probably better than what my PC runs at. So I flick over to, hopefully the stream won't crash, because sometimes it does do that, it crashes when you flick it over. So, I hope that doesn't happen. Although if it does, I'll be back anyway. Yeah, making our way up. Still getting speed as well. But yeah, if you do something wrong here, you'll get stuck. So... Still gaining speed as well. Yeah, it's a 1 in 115, so it slowly starts to flatten out slowly. Just pass around that bridge up there, that's where it starts to, uh, well, you get to the top. 24 miles an hour. You're 6 minutes late. Yeah, you do uh, tend to be late on this route. Um, I think that's more down to the fact that it's more to do with AI. The timetable is more suited to AI, so the AI can probably get up this grade at 80 miles an hour or something mad like that. So uh, yeah, the timetable is more suitable for AI. So uh, if you are late, don't worry. You're going to be late anyway. Only on some services you'll be bang on with the timetable. I mean, the first time I did this run, I was 15 minutes late into crew. That was more because we were going like 10 miles an hour up this grade. So, you will be late on this. One in one, two, three. So it slowly starts to flatten out very slowly, steadily. As we uh, make our way up. Yeah, can we try and get up to 80 likes? You've also got the um, period AI vehicles as well. You can see an old route master there. Can we hear the whistle? There yeah, so was a bit of whistle just for you. There we go. Hey, awesome Oscar. What do I uninstall on the plate? I've got to uninstall one of the add-ons. What are we going for? What are we what are we axing? Uh, there you go, Oakville subdivision. Goodbye. Let's have a look. There's a gun show now. 8.3 miles to Hartford. Yeah, it's Ali Pet. It wasn't about get. It wasn't about you know trying to get there on top. It was just trying to get there in the first place. This is from Harry Potter film. Uh, no, that's a Hall class. This is a Jubilee class. 
But we made it up though, and that's downhill. That's the Runcorn Grey Tit. It's probably the best attempt I've actually ever had at it. We did quite well on that. So yeah, perhaps if you are struggling on that grade, just go back and try and sort of mirror what I've just done there, and you should be alright. So as the regulator goes up, gradually bring back the reverser. Although as you haven't got the 15 mile an hour limit out of run corner, you can put it up slightly quicker. There we go. How oh, is that Mason? Get that open as well if you want. Put the uh, cold ore there. Oh, it's still not showing what else is going. Obviously there is the uh, limit on PS5 at the moment, so downloaded Spirit of Steam but it's not showing so I've got to try and act something else. What's going? Uh, what are we getting rid of? Uh, let's go for LGV. See if that comes up. Seven miles to go. It's a Sutton Junction that one. Yeah, it was Sutton Junction. There's the Mook House again. Hello, Cross Street. Oh, I take my hat off to you. Like, can't my granddad used to be a driver on this one? Struggled a lot. Oh, wow. That's awesome. That's brilliant. That is brilliant, mate. That's just some great stories he's told you of trying to get up that grade. It's Lime Street. Brilliant. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, we'll be out tomorrow, so uh, probably only a couple of streams, which we'll see with the Spirit of Steam. 6.8 miles, uh, comes down to 65, I think that's at Weaver Junction, so we'll be skipping through Acton Bridge, it's brilliant smoking, really good. You can see the gradient here as well, this is sort of like the only proper downhill bit you get when you're going towards the crew, the rest is all up there. Pop that down. Oh, it's still not showing what else is going. Something else is going to have to go. Just trying to make sure I actually did, I have downloaded it. Yeah. Yeah, just downloading the um, Spirit of Steam onto, uh, onto the PlayStation. Right, we probably want to pop that down a little. I think we actually go over the flyover as well. You'll see in a second that line starts going down and then we go over the flyover. What else is going? Wow, there's actually not a lot to get rid of now. Uh, I saw a horseshoe on there. Where's horseshoe? I'm coming for you. Horseshoe's going. Let's see, is it going to show now? It's still got 100 people in, so thanks all for coming in. To watch a bit of um, Spirit of Steam action as we make our way back towards crew. Five miles to Hartford. You should let Amanda try this. Oh, I definitely will. Good fun. That goes up to 80. And then down to 55, so there's not really any point of speeding up. Let's pop that down. That should come down nicely. I should start coming down a bit more than that, please. Yeah, come on, a hundred likes. Mr. Adams has set the goal. There it is. Spirit seems now showing on there. Cool. That'll be all ready to go. So yeah, once we do get to crew, uh, I'm going to switch over to the PlayStation 5 version of the game, which should hopefully run better than what it. Well, it should look better than what it does on my PC. So we'll switch over to there after this. Then you get a look at that as well. Let's open it up. Look at that. It does look good, doesn't it? Probably, um, actually, Paul was saying train simulator driver. You might know him. He, um, he said, I mean, it's one of the best looking, um, you know, water we've got on TSW so far. Sort of how dirty it looks, sort of weeds you get within it, and stuff like that. 
I think another good route for Wards is probably West Cornwall local. That's another really good one for uh, how the water looks. 3.8. Yeah, I think on the time I did this, for my first line run, I think I was 13 minutes late to Hartford. So uh, I think we're, we should be better than that this time. Should be. Oh, what a beautiful train. It's just, it's just a, a beautiful DLC in general. It's just, it's great. It's steep. Seam is romantic, it's, it's lovely. Three miles to Hartford. You get the window open as well if you want, that's so why you, you can do that. There you go, get that open if you want. This is Acton Bridge coming up. Let's get a flyby shot through Acton Bridge. Let's go ahead. So I think you've got Acton Bridge, Hartford, and then Winsford, and then Crewe. So one of the longest passenger trains you'll take on this route. There it goes. Get back in. Two and a half miles. I'm just going to bring the uh, bring the regulator to closed. Should probably get the safety valve coming in a second. Any second now, you'll see stuff coming out of there. Where's the safety valve? Should start to see that coming out very shortly as we are coming up to uh, the sort of yeah. The, the danger zone. Yeah, you should start seeing that come on soon. There you go, there it is. Cool. Hi Richard, how are you? Welcome back mate. Hope you're all well. Let's put that down. What steam you want to start coming down one and a half miles before or so? So the brakes aren't you know, the best. And Hartford actually has a really small platform. So you want to come in really slow if you want to get a nice good stop. So I'm bringing it down probably quite a bit before, but I want to be safe. So. Coming down, one mile to Hartford. Still coming down nicely. I'm pretty certain it's at that. It's where that signal box is. That's Hartford there, I think. Yeah, it's been great, uh, Richard. It's been a good, great day so far on the steamers. Finally, get to show it off to you guys live. It's great. actually quite a nice stop here actually and we're coming down at a nice pace as well yeah so that's gonna be quite nice I'm gonna set that back up as well there you go as we come down into Hartford yeah Hartford has a really small platform so be careful and also at some of these stations which do have really short platforms, especially if the signal uh, is slightly past the platform, try and put the locomotive past the platform to try and get as many coaches in as you can. I think we actually probably will be able to do it with this one. Nice Oscar. For oh, the next stream B, Spirit of Steam. That was actually a really good break. That was really smooth breaking. Hey Derek, you're loading up to TSW right now. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, look how small the platform is. It's just bloody mad, this one. And the signal, I believe, is past the... Is it past the platform? It is. So, yeah, try and get the locomotive past the platform. And obviously the tender as well try and get as many coaches in as you can obviously you won't be on the objective but for realism side of things you're going to be getting more coaches into the platform
to try and get the locomotive past the platform if the signal allows. We'll see our signal's over there, so we can. Let's try and go a little bit past, try and get the tender out as well, a little bit of break. That should be a perfect stop. There you go, get the doors open. And we should have, well, there you go, look at that, brilliant. So we've now managed to get three whole coaches on the platform. No, four whole co coaches. Whereas if we had got the loco as well, um, that would probably would have been, what, two, well, probably about three and a half, not even that. Yeah, not bad, not bad, is it? Hey, Krasa. That's all good that you, that you made it. This is Hartford. And after this, it is Crew. Yeah, we'll be on for a few hours. After Once we get to Crew, we're going to switch over to uh, the PlayStation 5 version. So, fingers crossed the stream doesn't crash, or sometimes it, 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 it does do that. Um, so, then hopefully we can all just go over there. And then, well, it will look better and also should run better on my PS5 it will be 60 fps because at the moment we're at about 40 35 40 right let's get the brakes off we're on a downhill gradient but this one's actually in our favor as it's going forward sure is dexter get the doors shut large ejector crew is in 12 miles how's the new route very very good Are you playing last gen? No, this is PC. Alright, wait for it to get 21. Obviously, you probably want to do this whilst the passengers are loading. There you go, that will do. Right. Let's get going. Up a little bit more. Get the cylinder cocks uh, closed, which the cylinder cocks are pretty important actually. Um, let's just try and get out first, then I'll explain. Let's pop that down. What cylinder cocks do is when you're not, well, when the regulator's not, and obviously steam isn't getting into the pistons, so it just sits in the cylinder. And obviously, if steam's sitting there in the cylinder, it's probably going to turn back into water, um, which obviously doesn't really work, does it? <laughs> Trying to get all the pistons moving. So, um, so yeah, you want to get the cylinder cocks open at most stations or most stops. Get the cylinder cocks open to let out the drainage. Because if you don't, realistically, the cylinder could explode. Which cause quite a bit of damage. Oh no, we're on PC at the moment, Derek. When's the route set? 1958. Uh, what is the time? Uh, it's out now on consoles and it'll be out slightly later on on PC. Oh, blimey, yeah, it's okay. And they have they. Cool, off we go. 11 miles. Route is um, very detailed and the locos don't even get me started. Brilliant. It is good. Lovely. Love the steam effect though. I really and also that if I do that, it's not really that laggy, is it? Whereas say if you drive a 31 on Tees Valley, full throttle, all the fumes coming out and you go in those fumes, it goes down to like 20 FPS. And if I do that, it's I mean this is bearing in mind this is my PC. Okay, it has come down a bit there but it still runs really nice and smoothly ish runs better than what diesel fumes are like so you've got way more as well about 30, 35 at the moment lovely uh, how many times do you have to change the cut off uh, you're on about This, probably being sick, cut off. Um, I think you're on about that, aren't you? Um, cut off, just bring it down gradually. Yeah, 
bring it down gradually. It's brilliant, Krasa. And it's a steam train. <laughs> 10 miles. We're going uphill at the moment. We've got a 1 in a 4.19. So that ain't bad. What we'll do as well, um, when we do go on to the PlayStation 5 version, I'll do the route introduction again, just saying if anyone has just come in or you don't really know what collectibles are on the route, um, that, that, will, that will tell you. So we'll do that um, after this. It's great for and then we'll go on the 8F, so that's the freight locomotive on the route. Which is very, very nice. I don't know, what's happened for the Jubilee or the 8F? So we haven't seen the 8F yet on the stream. Uh, but yeah, what, what do you prefer if you have seen the 8F? So they're very, very similar uh, sort of operating. I mean, yeah, near enough the same on the inside. Um, obviously, the 8F is more suited for freight. I think it also has a lower tender as well. There you go, putting some more coal in. 52 miles an hour. Which is alright, let's get another flyby shot. Let's go ahead. But yeah, once we get to crew, give me a couple of minutes and I'll flick it over to the um, PS5. Then we can see how it's like on there. Try it on both. You prefer the Jubilee, you prefer the 8F. Well, that's completely different, Crazer, isn't it? Completely different. There we go. <laughs> Lovely run. Wouldn't mind that. I think we're coming up on. Have we already gone through Winsford? No, I think Winsford's coming up. 8.7 miles to create. As we race our way along. But yeah, this is 24.99 in. Obviously, that's pounds. Um, so in euros, it's about 29.99. In dollars, 29.99 as well. Um, and yeah, if you're on console, it's out now, and if you're on uh, PC, it will be out in the next few hours. In fact, you can pre-order it on Steam. So you can't be the farm, and no, you can't be the farm, and Derek. Although you can actually switch cameras and be on the farm inside if you, if you want, like that. And there's sand doing the same. How to put water in to make the train faster? Put water in, you, I don't think you actually need to do that. Although, if you did want to put water in, uh, you have to come to the obviously, water tower and to the water tank and put the uh, hose in and fill it up. Well, I don't think you need to do that. The great thing about this DLC as well, you, you can smell the train, can't you? I mean, I don't know, I'm sure quite a lot of people probably have been onto steam railways, but you, you can smell the train. <laughs> I don't know, is it just me? You, you can smell it. Even though it's not there, it's in the you can you can smell it. You can smell the train. Hello, UK. That sort of uh, I don't know, just that steam train smell. Hello, UK transport. It's probably just me, but yeah, you can, I can smell it. I can smell the train. See, it's probably just me. Steam train smell, the sort of aroma they got. They keep losing the pressure. Uh, that'd be cool, Rob. Me, Krasa, me. After playing quite a lot of steam routes on TS, like the height just went shh. <laughs> this route. Yeah, you have to change the reverser. The optimal sort of setting is 25. So 100 reg, 25 on the reverser. Should do just nicely. Six miles to group. Going about 68 miles an hour. Hello, Racco. Oh, yeah. I don't think it actually does do anything. Uh, but you can do that. How do you, Racco? 
Oh, it's definitely paid off, Oscar. Yeah, they. Okay. Five miles. Eddie Stover. I don't think Eddie Stover has steam tracks. Although Eddie Stover does have some uh, nice class nights. I think they're class ninety twos. Aren't they? I've actually got a model of one. Don't they still do have a slow bar rail? Lovely different though. And a dove, very good, very, very good. It is busy, it is busy. Lovely. Imagine this though, I mean, I don't feel anyone here had been on a steam train back in the 50s or 60s, must have been great though. Whizzing along 75 miles an hour. Oh, in fact, no, rail tools. So it could have been on one getting the sort of speed. What an amazing experience. Cool. Three point eight to go. Is this route busy? Uh, not particularly. It's fairly quiet. Run. There's 135 services. But there have been gaps left in the timetable. As they were saying, obviously the 8F doesn't really do shunting. So it would have been a bit weird to have the 8F doing shunting. So gaps have been left. But then it's the same with the Brighton Mainline. Gaps have been left for tempting services, but we haven't got a DLC yet. So gaps have been left. In deep snow. Wow. The driver's swim freezing. Not as you have a fire to keep you warm still. Fair enough, Oscar. Is that like the Heritage Railway limit in the um, in Australia? Got 20, kind of got 80 miles an hour. There's another train. It's an 8F as well, I think. I think that's an 8F. There it goes. And that's a glitch at the moment where you don't see them chuffing. So there's the 8F. So we're going that next. Hello Cropswold, how are you? Let's start bringing the uh, speed down. And Cat Ace is coming to visit, we've got a double yellow. Yeah, bringing the speed down. Obviously brakes on here aren't the best, so just beware. Oh, awesome Oscar. Now, uh, but you do prefer electrical steam or diesel? Um, don't know. Apple yellow. I've also a red then as well. No. Hang on, that isn't a red for us, is it? Well, that's a double yellow for us. Well, I would hope it's uh, not a red for us. No, that's it on there. That must be. A, that must be for us. That double yellow. That looks a bit funny having the red there as well. Hmm. Hold on. Let me quickly. Uh, I can check that. Uh, not that. Uh, not that either. Okay, we'll, we'll go for it. I think that probably is fine. Uh, let's do that. Just looked a bit suspicious. <laughs> oh, hello, that's wheel slip there. That demonstrates that. Obviously, don't, you don't want wheel slip. There, yeah, there's, there's a mix of colour and semaphore on this route. Please don't do this bad, so hopefully, hopefully it's not. I'm pressing that double yellow is for us. I, don't, I doubt there's another train coming down on this line here. 
Yeah, we should be alright. Yeah, I think, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're alright. So I'm guessing that's acting a bit like a semaphore one. So I guess the one on the right means we're going centre, one there, left, means we're going left. Perhaps. But it seems we're all good. That was a bit of like a what moment. <laughs> Yeah, and then we head into Crewe. That's all the far section of the route, the West Coast Mainline section. Pop that down. Whilst we're popping that up. Yeah, Crewe, you can already see the platforms coming up, even that's a mile away. Yeah, it's very, very well optimised, this route. Blue, thanks for subscribing. Is that blue game as by any chance? If it is, welcome, buddy. Let's pop that down. Hey, I got 20 coming up. Yeah, there's a single there. It just put me off a little bit seeing the um, the double yellow and then sort of I don't know if we missed a single then the red. But now I think we were, we were all good anyway. How do I make the train go faster? You'll suck up 35 miles an hour. Uh, we'll make sure the regulator's up to about 100 and also bring down the uh, on the reverser. The reverser you want to set at about 25. Obviously start off in 75 and slowly bring it down. Don't put it to 25 straight away. As t no, <laughs> don't do that. Oh, it is. It's brilliant, it is, it's lovely. You're in Duncan. I like that, steam trains had a bit of sort of, you know, personality to them, didn't they? You know, their own names to them and stuff like that. Nowadays, still the trains are just, you know, 700, 101, 102, you know, they're sort of names to them. Where is the UK? Oh, where in the UK is crew? It's the Northwest. Nearest to the Welsh border. Well, it's a bit of a way, but this is actually this this line here is the uh, that's the North Wales coastline. That is that one coming off there. So that goes up to Chester. Hello, NG. You can see the safety valves come on, and this is crew. That is a return. Well, we obviously started that crew this morning to Liverpool Lime Street, and then obviously yeah, now back to uh, back to crew. At some point, what we'll have to do is we'll have to do crew to Liverpool, and then wait there, and then wait for the service to go back. Wonder how long you'd be waiting. Awesome, Oscar. Well, yeah, we're going to switch over to the PlayStation Five after this. The stream should hopefully, hopefully, it won't crash. Fingers crossed, it won't crash. Sometimes it does crash when we flick over. So hopefully it will be alright. If it does, I'll start the stream up again and we'll do that. Um, yeah, we'll be live most of the day on this DLC. So stick around, get a nice cup of tea, get a snack, uh, and just chill out and enjoy the steam action. Don't know, Prazza. And we've got a red here as well. Pretty scary. Scary stuff. I mean, the whole train should be on the platform, so we'll stop here. There you go. I mean, it's a massive platform out of crew. There we go. We made it. Welcome to crew, everyone. Which is a behemoth of a station. Of the station wall as well. You're just going all the way along the side there. Look at that. I think it is quite a bit different now in real life, but I think the platforms are still fairly similar. But yeah, that's another 34 miles done. Is next gen, uh, I think it can be 4K, yeah. We've obviously got 4K telly. Oh, CPAP is slightly smaller than now. British Railways. 
You've got the first class compartment, which are really nice. I mean, you can fall asleep in these really easily. Some of the seats on Mark 1s are just better than your, you know, your house sofa. Brilliant. Oh, there's the cat. Hello. She's come to watch the steam trains. Right, let's uh, get that shut. There we go. And there we go. Right, let's try and flick over to the um, PlayStation and hopefully it will be working all fine. So do bear with me whilst I flick it over. It shouldn't take two ticks. Um, but yeah, I'm going to flick it over. Let me quickly plug in that before we do. Go over to there. So that loads up pretty instantaneously but yeah give me about two minutes if the stream crashes which sometimes it does when i flick it over i'll just start up again and well we'll start again uh but yeah i shall hopefully all see you in a second let's quickly try and flick it over so hold on a second everyone Oh, I think we're all good. I can't see my webcam there. That's not very good. Uh, although, can I? I think everything's all good. Yeah, I think everything's all good. Oh, are we all good? Can everyone hear me all right? Hopefully you can. I will put the webcam on in a second. There is a bit of a bug at the moment where it seems to uh, bugger off when... Um, uh, so, I'll, I'll sort that out. Quote of the day. Yeah, let me quickly try and, try and sort, sort this out. It's a bit of a bug. I usually, I, what I do is I shut down Streamlabs and then reopen it. But, obviously... We can't do that because otherwise it will end the stream. So let me quickly try and get the uh, the webcam properly on again. As it can be a little bit funny um, sometimes. So I shall quickly do that. We can hear you, but we can't see you. Yeah, it's a bit of a bug at the moment. Hold on. Let me quickly unplug the webcam and then plug it back in because that also works. So let me try and find that and do that. Hold on. Gonna do it? Maybe not. Well, whilst we're, whilst I'm sorting that, let's do the uh, introduction there. As yeah, it's a bit of a bug on Streamlabs, but it seems to sometimes just do that, as you can see. So I shall mess around with that whilst we're doing that. Oh, there we go. There, there, yes, yes, I've done it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's a it's a weird thing. Why does that? I don't know why, but there we go. And work hard on busy passenger and freight services through historic Merseyside and Cheshire. Hopefully you can hear everything all well. Do let me know. But yeah, this is the route introduction. So there's none, you know, looking up, looking down, looking left and right. You don't do that anymore. Which is good. But yeah, this is now on the PS5. Ooh, look at that. There are more tasks to find. Be sure to read it's grey, it shouldn't be any more. Oh yeah, because it's black and white to begin with. Quite cool, isn't it? There you go, we've got the poster, and we've got to board the train. I won't do the tutorials, because, well, we already know how to drive. Let's go to there. So we've got to get on the train. I get it doing its whistle. Brilliant. They're all doing their whistle. It's a whistle fest. Afternoon, Biggs. Let's get on. I mean, look at the first class, though. If you've been to a Heritage Railway and been on a Mark One, like they are, like you, you could they're more they're comfier than your bed. They are lovely. Check it out now and then return to the game when ready. Yeah, so this is the route introduction. Just gives you a little sort of brief overview of what's included with the route. So I do this, and this time we've got Thunderer. That's quite a cool name, Thunderer. Is it hard to drive? Yes and no. Well, see, it's. Probably one of the hardest locomotives to drive in the game. Um, but it really depends. It, it really depends how much you've played TSW in general and stuff like that. I mean, to a new player, this probably would be really hard. But 
I don't know, it's a yes and no to it being hard to drive. Well, it's challenging than others, though. This train is powered yeah, it gives a bit of information as well. Class steam locomotive. These were built between 1934 Lovely. and 1936 and originally nicknamed Red Staniers because yeah, of their original crimson livery. But later, class 423. Uh, I don't know. Uh, no, not sure. 442. Oh, brilliant. Um, there's an 8F. We're going to the 8F in a sec. Hello. Pretty cool. You'll learn to haul a variety of different and a Harvey in the bustling yards and perform both Hey, you awesome Harvey. What one's that? Learn all there is to know it's about It's great though, isn't it? Oh, what's that over there? Is that a football pitch? There, oh, it's an athletics track. Probably a football pitch in the middle. Crew Welcome FC. Steam. Oh god, there's Case. Right, don't press buttons. Especially in a steam train. Right, there she is. Right, if you quickly go around that way. Come on, round you go, round you go, round you go. Hopefully the webcam just didn't disappear then. Right, uh, main menu. Yeah, did the webcam just go off and then back on? Hopefully it didn't. Right, let's go in, explore, uh, timetable. And we are going to do the 8F, the Stania 8F. Where should we start? Is there one that starts that crew? As if there is, we'll do that. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So you get uh, 36 services with the freight. Also, oh, that was, that was the case going past. Uh, also, journey mode. There's there's one journey with there's t yeah, there's two things in it, just both introductions. So it's pretty good for trying to complete those journey mode uh, bits and bobs. Hey, blue, yeah, it's been great so far. How are you finding it, mate? Obviously, from a I suppose an American point of view, how is it? It's been great. And yeah, Blue Games is a fellow Dovetail Games ambassador, so if you want to see more Spirit of Steam, go and check him out. He's got plenty on there as well. Um, so yeah, brilliant. Right, let's see. Uh, where, is there one that starts that crew on here? Uh, crew, 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 crew. That's from Crew to Edge Hill. Oh, Brake Van Tour. That'd be quite cool. I want to do a proper freight one, though. Is there not a one that starts that crew? Or somewhere sort of near crew? Edge Hill to Basford Hall Yard. Where's that? Basford Hall Yard. Um, bits and Junction to Spec Junction. That's 13 minutes. Uh, I suppose we'll probably do that one then. Oh, there's this one here. The Brake Van Tour. Uh, what do we want to do? Where is Joe gone? I'm, I'm here. Um, no, let's do... I don't know what we should do. Let's do that one. Let's see what we have to do on the Express Freight. Yeah, there's new trophies. So where's this Basford Hall? Where, whereabouts is that? It's not going to be like a shunting one, is it? Drivers Express Freight Service from Basford Hall to Edge Hill. I think it's this crew, isn't it? Where where are we? Oh, it's this crew. Okay, it's this crew. Okay, cool. Wow, look at this. Uh, let me quickly turn off the markers. We don't do objective markers here. Let's get them off. There you go. Uh, fire, steam firing mode is an automatic, which you can do manual and assisted. Uh, although we're going to do automatic. Right, let's see how this works on here then. Uh, obviously the same thing. It's probably actually easier plugging in a keyboard actually and using this for that. Yeah, which I've got plugged in. Uh, setting the cocks to open. Uh, that's not real good, yeah. Let me quickly turn that on. I was just looking at the thing, it looks quite, um, as someone mentioned, I don't know. It's a bit sort of um, lower res, but anyway, let's do that. Let's, um, that's all good. Uh, let's get that off. You're playing off score from Long Island. What time will Spirit Steam be on PS5? Now. What locos are there? The AF and the Jubilee. Uh, that's all good. Let's open that up. Awesome, David. Oh, so yeah, if there is any issues with the DLC, they'll be sorted, so don't worry about that. Right, there you go. That's coming off nicely. Uh, and we should be able to get going. 
Oh, and also the headlamps. I can't remember what um, Express Freight is. I wonder if... I think it's that. I think that's Express Freight. I wanna, I th I'm thinking it's that. Is that Express Freight? I think that's Express Freight. I'll look it up on the way. Um, let's get going. It was weird playing on the PS5 now. Oh, that's a bit of wool slip. We don't want that. Let's get some sand on. Where's the sander on this one? Where's the sander? There it is. There you go, that's better. Yeah, this is the 8F. <laughs> awesome Long Island. Ah, I see David. Look at that. It's very similar in the uh, in on the insides. Also, I probably want to check points because they're probably not set, are they? No, they're not set. Oh, that one's set. Okay, I think we're all good. I think we're all good coming out of here. Yeah, okay, I think we're all good. I'm going to use the keyboard for this. It probably actually, I'd say, probably might actually be easy using keyboard. So, I don't know. I'd recommend plugging in a keyboard anyway. Yeah, I'm going to use the keyboard for this. Uh, also, we should really get that closed. There you go. Just need to get used to it. Uh, also, I want to get that off as well. Uh, hold on, I'm just getting all of these off because I don't need these on. Um, uh, where is it? Uh, it's that one there, isn't it? Let's get that off. Well, in manual firing mode, Tom, you have to do the blower, you have to do the damper, and you have to open the firebox doors to allow the fireman to put the um, coal in, whereas on automatic, the fireman does all of that for you. So, yeah. There you go, so I think we actually go under the crew, we do. That was a Oscar. Yeah, so what look this is? We're down one in thirty seven? Lim and heck. We've got caution on the signal as well, so we might have to come to a stop. In fact we do need to come to a stop. As I can see a no no, we're all good. That was that was that, that was that one there. Oh yes, I believe so, David. What's more real? Automatic. Because obviously the driver, you're going to be driving, aren't you? You're not going to be doing the fire as well. I've got, I've got to get used to playing it on the PlayStation. So I've been playing it on the PC for the last few days. So I need to get used to uh, doing it on here. Using the controller. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, I believe if we do go sort of under crew. I know Jamie was saying there's like tunnels that go under crew. So then the steam can sort of bypass it, which yeah, I think we are actually going to be going through. Which is quite cool. Hang on. That's a red there. That's Yeah, that's a red there for us. What are we waiting for? Oh yeah, I think it's objective based, isn't it? So as soon as we actually get, once we steer, yeah, we need to stop here. That's why. Look at that though. The AF is another beautiful loco. It's great. It is very good, um, Tom. What's the bits in the bottom left corner? The very bottom left thing, I think, is the damper. And the thing above that, the sort of three arrows pointing up, I believe that is the blower. And then the bottom gauge, that's the steam chest pressure. And then the one at the top is the boiler pressure. And obviously as we're above 225, you can see the safety valve letting off all of the extra bits. Right. There you go. Oh no, it's what 
We have to be right on it, don't we? We have to be right on it. Right, we'll let it roll forward. Yeah, this is the freight uh, locomotive, this one. The AF. So you'll be doing freight in this. And some of these brake... Um, some of the stuff you get on freight don't have brakes. So... Right, that should be alright. Let's bring that to a stop. There we go. Uh, and go via location, fast on, and we have got the green now as well. Uh, let's get that on. Get all of these off. And um, we should then let's get going. Yeah, there's AI trains which go around as well. How long are we? Okay, fairly long. I prefer a passenger. Yeah, I'm more of a passenger person, me. Get the cylinder cocks closed. Start bringing that down as well as we put the uh, throttle up. Okay, we've got a 15 coming up as well, so we've got to be on the on the lookout for that. That's 50. There you go. Yes, yeah, so we're going under all the other tracks. Look at that. That is brilliant, isn't it? Get a screenshot. About 20 miles an hour. Then we've got to go up the other side in a second. So that'll be exciting. It is, Tom. Yeah, there's a lot going on. You can't just sort of sit back and let it do its thing. Well, at a low speed, you can't. So you can see the damper's fully up at the moment. Hang on. What? Uh, we didn't get a spad there. Well, there was no red light. I don't know if someone wants to check, but there was no red light there, was there? That's weird. There was no red light. Um, well, okay. <laughs> we'll go back out. We'll see, this is day one, so I, I'm pretty certain there wasn't a red light there. There, there. there wasn't a red light, unless it counted the one above us. It might have, but there was there was no red light there. All right, well we'll do the AF again, and we'll do one. Let's see, let's do one. Uh, hmm, let's see, what do we do? Uh, we won't do that one again. Let's do. That'll be all right. Uh, Edge Hill. To, have we got another one going that uh, that way? Let's do that one. I think it's a glitch where it thinks you're above the tunnel. Yeah, maybe. As yet, it might have thought the signal above us was the one on our line, so that's why, yeah, possibly. Oh, well. Obviously, it is, it's day one, so do expect there to be a few issues. Although, so far, it's been really good, so. Right, so we're at Edge Hill now. Um, and we're going to Runcorn, so we've got to go around the loop. And then over to Runcorn, which is, which is over here. All right, let's get that open. Uh, let's set that to 75. Uh, we'll set the small the small ejector always needs to be set to fully open when in operation. Uh, brakes are already coming off. Going to get some sand on as well. And just a little bit of uh, throttle. Yeah, the glitches are fairly minimal in here. Just got to let it do its thing. The brakes still do it coming off. We're not going now. Oh, there you go. You've just got to sort of, yeah, test it. You've got to get it going. All right, come on. Off you go. Come on, train. Start doing your thing. Start bringing that down as well. Pop that up a little bit more. Right, I think we're all good. We seem to be on the way. Look at that though. Isn't that just beautiful? Cool, let's get back in. 
So yeah, letting it go up up to that, pop back down again to about 50. See, I'm starting to use it on the controller now. So you've got to change over to it, get used to it. Down to 45, going to pop that up again. There is a fairly steep gradient coming up. Lovely. Yeah, this is the 8F, the Stania LMS 8F, I believe it is. That's its full sort of technical name. Yeah, leaving Edge Hill. Starting to go up as well. Getting out of Liverpool is easy. I mean, once you get used to it, yeah. Fairly. Oh, I wonder where that goes over there. Sort of goes into a really dark tunnel down there. Look at that. Got to watch out for a red, as I did see a um, caution on there. How much on PC? $24.99. Same as on console. Yeah, I'm sure we will. I mean, gaps have been left in the timetable, so. Had to get liveries and on trains and TSW, the Creators Club. So make sure you're signed in to Dovetail Live. Looks like we're clear. So we've got this grade to come. This is a 1 in 34, I think. So if you do speed on this section, don't worry. It's in a second you've got to go straight up. So yeah, don't worry about speeding on this bit coming up here. Just don't don't break, just let it go. Hello West England trains. Fair enough, laser jet. Hello LWR. We have got to be careful with a red though, so there might be one. So yeah, don't worry about going above the limit there. I can see a green over there. Right, so 1 in 35, just get as much speed as you can trying to get up here. Let's see, we're losing speed. There you go, and then up and over. And we've got the green. There we go. I'm going to get the sander off as well now. Sander's going off. That's all good already. There we go. So we're taking this one as far as Runcorn. Awesome Krazza. Look at that. And this is the abandoned station, isn't it? I'm guessing this one was probably uh, Waver. What was that? Waver Tree? Listen to that all coming across there. There we go. You're going to sack the premium or flight sim for TSW DLC. Fair enough. Don't blame you. It's like getting a bit of speed on us as well. Hello, Gary. I'm on a boat on the Norfolk Broads. Can't wait till I get home at the weekend to try this out. Awesome, Gary. Very nice. How you doing, Gary? Look at that. In fact, let's just get one of those sort of nice shots, sort of going past it. Here we go. I'll try and get a nice shot. All the little things going on there. Brilliant. Oh, has it, Pet? But I think we've driven this bit on Train Simulator before on um, the uh, Liverpool to Manchester route. And we've got a um, double yellow coming up. Got to be on the safe side. Well said, Amanda. Yeah, we're now on the PS5 version. We've almost had 2,000 views. Thanks all for coming in. It's brilliant, Gary, isn't it? Yeah, we'll be on this most of the day. Um, maybe at some point I'll have a little sort of 10 minute break so I might put up the Be Right Back screen. Yeah, we'll be on for a little bit. Not doing anything else today. I'm out tomorrow as well, so. Lovely. I don't actually know what the top speed for freight is. Oh, we should actually, I think, get that on. It's a bit naughty, actually. I think it's that for stopping freight. 
or branch freight. Send a bit, Sebastian. Brilliant, though, isn't it? Let's open that up. What's the small ejector for? Uh, it's just a slightly smaller ejector, but it should always be set to fully open when in service. So, yeah, always have it in fully open when you're driving. Uh, on console, it's already out for um, Vol Volatus, and then on PC, it's going to be out uh, about, I think, 3 p.m. on Epic Games ish, and on Steam about 6 p.m. A bit of wheel slip actually, hold on, let me get that on. Yeah, at some point, Amanda, <laughs> at some point. Cool. Yeah, just a little bit of wheel slip. Here we go. Going through West Allerton, that's Allerton next. Brilliant. Yeah, good stuff. Obviously, thanks all for coming in as well. Four and a half miles. <laughs> maybe after this, Amanda. Maybe after this. Look at that. Yeah, so the Jubilee is a 4.5. I know it's 4.8. The 8F. You're driving from Acton Bridge to Crew. Awesome K1. Very nice. Not bad. But yeah, thanks all for coming in. I've still got 80 people in. What's the longest route on TSW? The longest route on TSW is... I believe it's actually Sherman Hill. Which has got like... Uh, 70 or so miles worth of track uh, although LGV is like 60 odd miles and you see the whole thing you start Marseille to have what is going on over there is it like a fire or something probably one of the chimneys but it almost looks like there's a fire over there look at that I think this is spec this is it is there uh, Steve yeah Round we go. So you're on the slow line at the moment. You can see the tender. Look at how much that bounces around. Oh, we've got no farming either. I think they're invisible, but yeah. Love it. You got the DL You picked up the DLC, Steve. Get that open as well. Lovely. Now oh, see those shit. Uh, you can on scenario plan of Odysseus, yeah. You can't on West Somerset Railway in the timetable mode as of yet. Okay, the safety valve going. How's the route so far? Very good. Uh, any bugs uh, we've had? Well, we just had where we went through a red light when there was no red light uh, going under the crew tunnel. Um, and possibly this being quite sort of low in detail the sort of the uh, all of the inside bits on, on here as opposed to the PC but apart from that I think it's been yeah it's been alright I've heard on Xbox there's also you've only got I think 83 services um, but apart from that yeah it's been well it's been fine whereas the blower the blower is there uh, Still got a fair bit of ball slip in this. Awesome pet. Oh, hello. Whoa. Let's use the arrow keys to get in all the different cameras. I go back into the usual. That's my favourite one. You've got an update for Xbox. Oh, already? Brilliant. Now that's, that's all good, Oscar. There was a patch to fix that. Good. That's already been sorted. 
you can tour them, I think, on some of the yard services. I remember I saw Jamie uh, filling stuff up on his on one he did. You see the blowers coming on. As soon as that, so when, when, once we take off the, once we put on the regulator, you can see the blower goes off. As soon as we do that, it should go back on. That's just to keep the fire away from coming through the firebox doors. Oh, nice crowd that's near Middlesbrough. Lovely. Look how fast that's going. Look at it. Love it. Oh, there's another train as well, another 8 air. There it goes. Cool. Uh, let's quickly bring that down just a little bit. Not too much. I think that's coming down. There we go. Not bad, I think you can open these up as well. Probably maybe when <laughs> probably not when you're moving, but I'm pretty certain you can open them up. But yeah, probably because we're moving we can't. Lovely. Pop that down. That's coming down. Got a green there as well. Got to come down to 20 fairly soon. That's yeah, great, isn't it, Pep? Yeah, you can see the lubricators. I think they're on this side, aren't they? Yeah, you can see the lubricators turning around. Is there a manual for livery designer? Oh, is there a manual for livery designer? Uh, no. Although Train Simulator have done some streams where they've done, I know of Natalie and Cat, they've done some streams where they do the livery designer this might be good giving them a watch to sort of get an idea of what you can do on it and lovely Krasa that's the measure smith isn't it weird isn't it the measure smith CTC3 on Boston Sprinter cool now yeah, we come down to 20 let's bring that down a little bit more there we go uh, most of them, Krasa, yeah. For the most part. Get the brakes on a little. Oh, lovely Oscar. Very nice. I can tell someone's going to make the Platinum Jubilee live for rain. I'll probably do that as a video. That would be brilliant. Obviously, yeah, then we've got to climb up the grade, so we've got to be careful. Should be alright though. Ah, I'll see you, Steve. Yeah, I haven't done any livery design, so I'm not too good with it. <laughs> What's the best way to keep a steady boiler pressure at high speed? Uh, well, make sure you've got the automatic farming on, for one. And it should do it for you. Yeah, uh, it should, should do it for you. I mean, a lot of the time we have had the safety valve coming on. Uh, to stop it from going over. So yes, if you've got the automatic farmer on, it should be well, all right. Yeah, we've had it in a hundred and twenty-five in reversal, and it's been well at the sort of the optimal amount actually going over at times. This is going to be tough getting up here. The way you sort of have to slow right down to twenty. Here we go though, making our way up the wrong corn grade. Doesn't really matter if you speed a little bit trying to get off of there. Up we go. Cool. Yeah, thanks to everyone who has subscribed this morning. Obviously I can shout out a few. Ginzi, uh, Alfie, uh, Blue. Let me try and scroll down actually. Uh, if it lets me nice and slowly, I will. 
uh, Blue, Math, Steam, Western Victorian, Leandro, Zach, Whitworth, Laserjet, David, Ritz. Thanks all for uh, subbing the, the, uh, this afternoon, much appreciated. Uh, they'll probably update that, Krazer. Yeah, that'll be updated. No, kind of wipe, though. We're doing alright, we're still gaining speed, which is good. Look at that. It's just beautiful, though, isn't it? Look at that. What a beautiful looking train. But yeah, this is the 8F. Lovely. Let's get back in. Uh, is there any way I can drive the steam on West Somerset Railway Scenario Planner? Uh, I'd actually recommend checking out the Curators Club. I'm sure there's probably already quite a few steam scenarios for the West Somerset. Um, so yeah, either make a scenario on the Scenario Planner or go to Creators Club and there's probably already in the most recent section a few scenarios with Steam on West Somerset. Making our way up. Isn't it it's great though to have Steam on Train Sim World? I mean, it's been... The game's been out for... Well, near enough five years I've been playing for four because that's when it came out on the console in July 2018. Uh, it's just it's a great achievement. We now have Steam on TSW. I mean, it's it's great. Yeah, it might be yeah, uh, Crazy. <laughs> no, that's not uh, that's not our laser jet run. That's um, that's uh, that's the proper laser jet. We may even still be watching so. Yeah, Laser Jet is a fellow um, Dovetail Ambassador. Makes some awesome content. Lots of train races. Also, probably the biggest train sim um, straight, uh, content creator. There we go. Yeah, we're coming up on the Runcorn Bridge. Brilliant. Let's get back in. It's great, yeah. Brilliant. Got all the buses coming along. This is a, a bloody lovely bridge, isn't it? So we'll come up here and onto it. It's lovely. So yeah, Runcorn is uh, is here. Success, my train is moving. I think that moves as well. You can see that swinging across. That must have been quite uh, an experience going across on there. Sort of swinging around as it sort of comes across. That's at the reverse back to 75. And start upon a little bit of break. As we come up to run court. Awesome, are they not there yet? I think they got added to the PlayStation last night. Remember, we checked, didn't we, when we were doing um, the new update. Lovely. That's it, old style traffic lights down there, I think, as well. It's lovely, isn't it? It's really bloody nice. You've got a lock down there for a car. There's even a narrow boat down there as well. Yeah, here we are. This is Runcorn. Pop that down. Here we are. We did it. We made it. Cool, not bad. Towards the end of the platform as well. It made it back up. Cool. Look at that puffing out. Brilliant, isn't it? Look at that. A little bit more. There we go. Brilliant. 
But yeah, I think we might actually um, call it an end here. So we've done a nice return of the line. I had a look at the 8F as well. Is there anything else you guys want to see? Uh, which I can quickly show off. I know, scenario, planner, livery, designer. Uh, or maybe even the brake fan. Is there anything you guys want to see specifically? Pop them in the chat. Because we'll go over anything you guys want to see quick. Before we do um, call it an end. So I think I'll go off, have lunch. And then probably come back and play even more. That should be alright. There we go. Hey, we've got a trophy as well. Steam powered. Which actually, I'll show you the trophies you get for this. Um, yeah, you've got a fair few. And wow, there's quite a few actually. Operate the stat uh, 8F for 100 miles. Jubilee for 100 miles. 10 services with the 8F. 10 with the Jubilee. And then obviously the usual scenario ones. All route tasks, all scenarios, and all training modules as well. Steam at night. That would be an interesting one. Brake van, okay, fair. Well, I think what we we'll do first, well, we can do both actually at the same time. Steam and the brake van. Um, okay, we'll do that then. Uh, timetable, 8F. Um, that's really dark. Let's, let's set it to December. Well, not have lunch, but have a break and have a Coca Cola or something. Uh, wow, there's actually quite a few into the night, isn't there? Um, we'll do that. We won't drive it, but we'll just see what it's like. Nice. We go in. Yeah, we'll go in. Gives you a little sort of to see how dark it is at night. It's actually not too dark. Right, let's go to the brake van. Let's go and have a look. Which is probably will look actually better at night. Oh, can we open these up? I think you can open these up. I know you can on... Um, the heavy freight pack. I don't know. Hello, Jackie Dory. I'm really excited. Let's go ahead. And also, you can um, release the brakes on here. You can release them by pulling the um, little bit of string there. Well, let's um, let's go to the back. I shall show you the brake van. Yeah, I can show that, Leo. Mind if you can open these up? I, I, I swear I saw them doing it on one of the um, streams. Maybe because it's loaded, you can't. If it was empty, you could. Right, let's go along. And this is the brake van, which is pretty chilled out. I can tell I spend quite a few evenings just sitting in here going along. Like, come in here, sit here. You can get this on as well. Look at that. You actually hear, you actually hear it as well. You can hear the sort of... Um, look, listen carefully. You can hear the match come and then into there. So you can turn the, uh, look at this, I mean this is just, a sit there, chill out, and just have a journey in here. And you can also control the brakes as well, put the brakes on there. Um, but it's chilled out, isn't it? You can sit here and just sort of watch the world go by from the brake van, I mean why not? You know, if you've been driving all day, sit in there and just enjoy that. And also, look ready, even better. Look, you can see it coming out of there. And that's cool, isn't it? I mean, that really is coming out, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you can uh, sit in there and, well, put the furnace on and chill out. Right, livery designer and scenario planner. That would be very cool, motorised. That would be very cool. Right, uh, tools, scenario planner. Uh, let's just see what we could call it GG, as I usually do. Um, so these are all the places you can start. So there's quite, a, there's actually a really good selection there. So usually it's just you know, one or two platforms. That's it. Here it actually looks to be near enough every platform you can start at, uh, which is, I mean, the list is massive. So that is a vast improvement to what you usually get, where you don't get a lot of places you can actually begin. Um, so that's good. I mean, you can pretty much yeah, you can start almost. All of the platforms at Lime Street, that's not bad. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and then 4. Um, so you can stop at most places. Oh, you can start at most places. That's pretty good. If we start maybe at Crew, let's go to uh, Crew. No, Liverpool Lime Street 8. Was it always stars in the sky? Yeah. See you, Chrysler. Thanks for coming in, mate. Uh, not on PlayStation, no. If we do that, you can see all the places you can then go to. So, pretty good. 
And then you can run that on there. So these are all the consists you get. Hang on, a Jubilee times two. Hang on. Let's let's quickly do that. I want to quickly see. Uh, when will support comes, is that going to be two locos together? Hold on. Let's have a look. That would be quite cool. I'm guessing it probably is. Are we going to have a loco behind us? <gasps> look at that. <laughs> now that is cool. Let, let's quickly set this up and see if the other one behind also gets going as well. You could have quite a lot of fun with that. It does as well, look, you can control both locos at once. Very good, uh, Dave, very good. Is it going to do it soon? It might take a little while because obviously you've got the uh, other loco as well for the stuff to come off. Yeah, we're probably waiting for this one to come off as well, aren't we? There you go, so you've got to control both of them. Well, there we go. Shall we see how this does? You know what, also, as we're here, I'll show you what wall slip's like. That's wall slip. There you go. Look at that. Which looks really cool. Get a bit of sand on. Bring that right down. We've got Duncan and Repulse on this one. Yeah, look at this, two locos together. Love that. I don't know if you can do this in service, maybe. Look at that. That is pretty cool. Like that. Well, that's that. That's a nice little go at that. Uh, livery designer. Let's see what you can do on there. I'll just make it a colour and you can see what places you can change. Uh, you've got Repulse. Oh, nice. Uh, let's quickly get rid of that. Uh, livery designer. Right, now to try and find it. You can see all the different bits you can do. Uh, all the different wagons you've got on there for Spirit of Steam. Down we go. Jubilee, Jubilee, Jubilee. There it is, Jubilee. Let's see what we can do with it. Uh, yes, new livery. Uh, edit. Let's see what places we can change. Okay, so you can see the bits where I don't think you can change the sort of the blacker bits at the front. Let's make it the Jubilee. Let's make it the um, Platinum Jubilee colour, which is like that. So you can see the bits you can change there. And it looks like the tender is also separate as well. So you can change that as well. Let's do that. There you go. We've made the Jubilee engine. <laughs> Someone will make one like that. Oh, and actually, also, to my, no, hang on. This is quite cool, actually. Let me quickly show you. Look, you can actually pretty much do it. You can actually have the um, the thing on, which is really cool. I mean, look at that. <laughs> you can you can literally do it. Look, brilliant. There, we've made the Jubilee loco, which is uh, it's quite cool. So yeah, you can see the bits you can customize and the bit your bits you can't. So there are a few bits you can't change, which is fair enough. That's quite cool, actually. I like that. Let's get rid of it. Um, and then I'll show what you can do on the 8F as well. Let's see. Uh, 8F. No, not that. Delete. I'm going to go back. 8F. Let's find the 8F. 8F. Where are you? The Stania 8F. Stania 8F. Create new. Um, do that. Edit. So, yeah, it's the same on this one as well. It's the same sort of places you can't paint. Um... Let's just do that one, it's like a really dark one. Actually, that's really, and you can't really see what's going on. Let's have it as white then. Maybe that one is red at the front. No, let's have it red, let's have it red. Go on. There you go, yes, you can see the bits you can't do. So you can see sort of the usual sort of front bits you can't do. Uh, I can't remember how you move on this one, there we go. So you can see the bits you can't customise. Uh, how do you get? Let's make sure your boiler pressure is fairly high, uh, Matthew. And let's spawn in at Lime Street, because we haven't really had a proper sort of run around at that, have we? Uh, Lime Street. Let's go Lime Street. Thirteen forty-five. That should be perfect. Let's have a little look round, and then I think we'll call it an end.
We'll be back later, uh, probably back about 3 o'clock and we'll do some more. Just go off, have a little bit of a drink, bit of uh, lunch and then yeah, and we'll be back. What's going on? Am I stuck? I think I'm stuck. Oh no, there you go. Oh, that was weird. Well, this is a Lime Street station, so this is sort of the main, you know, it's it's lovely. Hello, Fandome, you've got all you know, the crates of, uh, oh, that actually looks really cool. So you've got the, all the bread there uh, and all the different crates of see which would load up the trains. Nice little details like this which sort of bring it to life. If we uh, run down to the other end, in fact, we're going to be a little bit naughty here. Hold on, no no one's looking, no one's looking, no one's looking, blah, blah, there we go. Um, now you've got all the little crates on the platform here which would then load onto the trains. Where are all the new stations? There's a lot of new stations. Well, it's Liverpool, Lime Street to Crew, they're the main ones. As you can see, you've got the uh, the bread on there. There was some oranges somewhere, I think that's on the other bit. Let's quickly go and find that. There's a Jubilee. What Jubilee is that? You've got the... Um, the, top, the departure boards don't work at the moment, although I would imagine probably in the future we'll see them working. Um, why is that gate shut? A little bit shut, that one. Can I push it? Oh, I can't push it. This is uh, Mysore. It's an interesting name. You got the Mark ones, and yeah, you got the you got the bananas here at this one. Which probably at this time we're actually fairly new to the UK. So I remember my nan was telling me about the first time uh, they sort of got bananas at school and they didn't really know what to do with it. So yeah, there's that. Um, let's go and have a look over here. See if there's any collectibles. But yeah, this is uh, Lime Street. Can we go out here? How far can we go out? Okay, I need to there. What about through this gate here? Okay, to there. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. As you can see, this is here. Yeah, you've got the booking office here. You've got all the adverts up here. Dovewicks, baking powder, chocolate, perfect gift idea, barber's tailored hair. You know, these are sort of old adverts you see um, at stations. So you probably would see a lot of tobacco ones as well. But obviously, it's TSW. It's they're not going to have tobacco adverts all over the place. But obviously, that was quite quite popular back in the fifties. But you can see lots of chocolate there. And um, what's that? So I suppose it's supposed to be some sort of washing detergent. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And you've got the ticket little office here, and um, yeah, it's cool. You've got another train over there as well. What's this one? Booking office for London and the South Birmingham West of England. So you've got a booking office there. Um, uh, 135, there's a collectible as well. Uh, you should turn into Dovetail Live and then go to My Mods and I think you should be able to upload it. The buffers look really cool as well, don't they? <laughs> They're sort of within, built within the platform. Uh, there you go, there's that. And obviously AI is um, wearing period clothing as well. So, there you go. And then someone over here as well in a hat. Which is quite cool. And you've got gloves on as well. Um, what loco is this? But look at that. I mean, that is just stunning. And here we've got uh, Thunderer again. But yeah, it's a beautiful station though, isn't it? Uh, Liverpool Lime Street. It is lovely. Let's just sort of get a... Uh, and look at the arch. Look at that. Looking out that over that way, all the sort of arches and bridges across the railway. If you've played South Eastern High Speed, it's a, I suppose it's sort of a bigger scale of um, when you when you leave Gravesend towards um, Higham, you sort of got all of the bridges and sort of arches. This is like a mega scale of that. But yeah, there you go, Liverpool Lime Street, which just looks absolutely beautiful. Look at that. And also the big clockworks as well. Coloured television. It's it's lovely. But yeah, I think we're going to call it an end there. Um, nine minutes and it goes to three hours. Let's try. Let's get three hours first. Let's get three hours. Um, let's see what else. Where, where else should we have a look at? Any other places you want to see? Had a super stair. Can't wait to play this on. Oh, is this on PS5? Yes. Oh, journey mode for anyone who does journey modes. Oh uh, yeah, chapter one, chapter two, which is day tripper. Chapter three, which is steaming ahead. Um, in fact, now hang on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. The refueling scenario. Because we haven't done that, have we, on the stream? Let's have a look. So this will show us how to coal up the loco. And also 
put water in it. Welcome to Speak Sightings. In this training, oh, speak it is, I expect. Let's do this. Okay. Firstly, we'll need to prepare the locomotive to receive water. Walk over to the water crane where you will need to move the water hose over the rear of the locomotive's tender. Okay, so we've got to do that. Go to the water tower. Oh, hello. What did we just do? Oh, did we just lit that up, I think? Did we just light that up? Is that a, bra a, bra a brazier? Well, we just lit that up. That's quite cool. Uh, water pipe arm. Wait, what? Where's that? Do? Oh, there you go. Oh, look at that. Now the hose is in position. Climb up the tender. See, Sebastian, thanks for coming in, mate. Insert the hose into the tender tank. Once uh, the water is open. Where's the way up? Where's the way up? Oh, here. Hold on. Uh, I got it there. I just got it. Where is it? Climb up there. Open that up. And then grab the hose. Look at that. Ooh, look at it. <laughs> Ooh, and then pop it into there. There you go. The hose is in, and the tender tank is ready to be filled. Turn on the water and start filling the tender tank. Okay, now we've got to start moving this round to uh, let the water go in. Can we hear it as well? I think you can. I can barely hear it over the local, but I'm pretty certain you can hear water trickling in. Pretty certain you can. So we've got to wait for that to fill up. That's for that. I love that. So this is a collectible. This is. Okay, it can do. Set that back to closed, and then go up to here. So I don't think you actually do need to do this in a service, but it's quite cool though, isn't it? Oh, whoa, whoa that was pretty stretchy. Um, close that. Uh, and then turn the water pipe arm to zero. There we go. Uh, sit in the driver's seat. So now we're going to do the coal. Let's get up, get that shut, sit in there. Now we need to fill the tender with coal. Okay, so set that to backwards 75. Yeah. Uh, set them to release. That safety valve is loud, isn't it? So we've got to go under there. Oh, a couple of weeks, Superstar. A couple of weeks or so, maybe. There you go. And then that one loads up. Look at that. You can see the um, tender going up there with the coal. Probably going to be slightly better there with my positioning. There goes another train. Whoa, what on earth's that? Look, it almost looks like, hang on. Hey, see, that's like a lightning storm over there. Like a really wild lightning storm. That would be quite cool, though, if it actually was. It probably isn't supposed to be that, but that would be quite cool if that actually was the case. But I doubt that actually is... Um, the is the case. Is ready to go, but the points in front need switching. These points are manually controlled, so we'll have to leave the locomotive and walk to the points. What do we have to do? Walk to the points in front of the loco. Let's do that. Oh, coal piles bagged. Okay. Right, let's go and do that. Uh, you got like a little. They got a little hut here, just sitting there and chill out. Watch trains. Oh. Pull the junction lever to switch the direction. This is cool, yeah. Uh. There. The locomotive is now ready to move. Cool. Climb aboard the locomotive and drive it to the stop marker. We can do that, Matt. Well said, Matt. Let's uh, go back into there. That shot. I want to set that to forward seventy-five. That's what I'd imagine we'll be doing now. There you go, set that forward. Get that off. So yeah, it just gives you a little look at how you can... Um, well, sort of other things to steam. Let me 
Vegas and these points probably aren't set, are they? Oh no, I think they're all good, they're all good. Yeah, they have a sort of side of things, I'm seeing the 8F as well. Hello Sam, how are you? Probably want to change that. So it's probably that, innit? Yeah. Stop at location, yard exit. It's lovely, isn't it? Checkpoints, points are all good. So it looks like we're going to be connecting up to some other wagons, by the looks of things. So we'll do this and then I think we'll call it an end. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed the, um, the stream, it's been good fun. Obviously massive thanks to Dovetail for giving us the code to uh, give it a go. What's everyone's thoughts on the route? I suppose it seems downloading for you, awesome. What do you think of this route now it's out? Amazing, it's a masterpiece. And 100 at 100, lovely. There you go. The Probably NG, yeah. That's already going back for us, which is nice. Oh, look, you can see the, um, hang on, look, you can see it moving, look, look at this. That's the, uh, re that's me setting the reverse of forward and back, look, look at that, you can actually see it doing its thing. I like that. That forward. Back to there, and then that's for then obviously going back. That's cool. Lovely Permian. Awesome, Simon. Hang on. Oh god, I thought I was going to hit us then. Bit of wool slip there. There goes another. There we go. Cool. There also is a semaphore signalling tutorial as well. That's, that's another one you get. That's good then, Finn. Uh, probably not, Isaac. No, probably not. Look at that. So we'll connect up to the uh, wagons here. Let's we can do that. Back we go. Yeah, it just gives you sort of a little, look, a little bit of a look at you know how you connect things up on here and just the sort of usual operations. Of uh, of a freight locomotive. But yeah, if you are, if this is your first ever steam route uh, on train on train sims in general, do every single tutorial. Obviously, I know I did. Well, actually, in fact, I did do the tutorials. I just did them on the first look, so that's why we haven't done them on here. But yeah, do the tutorials. It's one of those routes where doing the tutorials is very much worth it. Even if you know how to do it, do the tutorials. Of the wagons climb down from the locomotive. Oh, God, that was. I <laughs> didn't do that. The wagons are now coupled and the service is ready Lovely. To start. That would be quite cool, though, if it actually was a lightning storm. You know, it was all cloudy and you could see that going on. Right, now we get the brakes released. Set so the forward 75. Show you a bit of wool slip, that's wool slip, look at that. Yes. Obviously don't do that. And off we go. But yeah, thanks all for coming in once again. Obviously, yeah, we've got over 2,000 views. So, I mean, that's brilliant. So, thanks all for coming in. But we'll be finishing up once we've done this. That will then be it. Off we go. Look at that. 
Not bad, is it? Not bad at all. Let's get back in there, uh, into the, the inside. Cool. Very, very good. So away we go, leaving, uh, well, leaving Speck, I think this is, or Speak. I can't remember now what it was. Lovely. How easy would you say it is to learn to drive? Is that yeah, easier than German German safety system supers there. <laughs> yeah, easier than German German safety systems. I mean, really, um, it's I mean, yeah, steam trains are hard to drive. Uh, Jamie even said this is sort of one of the easier ones. They can be much more com uh, uh, complex. But I mean, as long as you sort of know the basics, you know, higher speed you are, reverse her down, regulate her up, uh, you should be all right. I wouldn't say it's the hardest though, but it still is fairly tough. Also, you can do it in manual with the, um, well, you can do manual, can't you, on the farm, and that would make it much harder. I don't think you can, uh, it's automatic, isn't it? The farmer's doing that. That wasn't too bad. Great work. That's everything for this training module. Lovely. There we go. Well, I think we'll call that an end now. I believe our fellow Ambassador Megasim is live at the moment, so I shall get everyone a link for that and then head over there. He's he's doing his his look at Steam over there. So let me get a link for that. But yeah, feel free to head over there uh, and give yeah Megasim a look. He's also live on 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 the DLC now. I'll be back later with some more Spirit of Steam, uh, probably around four-ish or so. We'll be back and we'll do another sort of crew return or something like that. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Obviously, massive thanks again to Dovetail Games for giving us a key to show it off. Links can be found in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in. Enjoy the DLC. Obviously, it's out on consoles now and it will be out on PC slightly later on. Thanks all for coming in, and I hope we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.